It's time! You are watching the FM Senpai, the Bate Beast, Zilando Escobar, a Minesweeper Champion, Geography Champion, and Streamer Showdown Champion, Vice Captain America himself, Z! as part of an elite online gaming community. Wait. Community. Wasn't loud enough. KC Masterpiece, thank you for the four months. It's the amount of time the takeover takes to happen, apparently. Ponji, thank you for the two. Ryan Jones with 13 months as part of the Hammers. Smithy, thank you for the prime. And Will Divine, thank you for the prime. Welcome to a beautiful day in the land of football manager. Yeah, you, you, somebody said at 1130 in the chat was like, wonder how late he's going to be today. And I was like, bro, I'm in a production meeting over here laughing because you're in the chat. Like, I wonder how late he's going to be. And I'm like, they have no idea I'm in a production meeting right now. And I'm going to be super late today. Like a big fat bro. one of those huge bro, massive bro. <laughs> Now, Z, where'd you get that sweater? It's so cool. My grandparents bought it in New Zealand in the 1980s. You can't have one, but it's so comfy. Super late. Like, I knew I was going to be late, but I didn't want to double paying anybody. You know, I'm just like, I'm just going to get here an hour and a half late because I have this production meeting that I have to be in. So tell me my life, right? My mother, I love her. She keeps calling me and she's like, Zealand, do you have one minute? To which my answer is, no, I quite literally have not had one minute in the last three days. My mother's actually here. The mom bot's in the chat. I have not had one minute over the last three days. I swear to you. She's like, I, you need one minute. Okay, here we go. We're in. We're already simulating. We're, we're in the middle of a takeover. If you're joining for the first time, you haven't been here in a while. Oriental Dragon, we're in the winter break. We're ninth in the league out of 18 teams. We were projected to finish pretty terribly. Uh, we're in the middle of a winter break. We're trying to get to Tundela. Well, like, we have 10 days until we play Tundela. Uh, and we're also in the process of a takeover, which has been lasting a couple of months, and we can't complete or do any transfers, not even the trials that I'm addicted to doing. <clears throat> because... That's apparently a transfer. Allegedly, stop the stream, talk to mom. It's for tax stuff. And let's be honest, I'm way ahead on my tax stuff. By that, I'm way ahead in giving her the information. Taxes, when you're like, do streaming and YouTube, are very annoyingly weird and complicated. Like, not a super easy thing to just like, sit down and figure out and be like, hmm, we crunched the numbers. Not that far ahead. I can't get too far ahead or else I'll ruin my branding of being just a little behind on certain things. Tom! Thank you for the 10 months as part of the Hammers. Bence, thank you for the two months. Thanks, MomBot, for the gifted in the first month. Well, Bence, I appreciate you coming back to an elite online gaming community. And direct, Tommy, thank you for the two months. Whoa! Wow! Somebody said it. Yo! Tax evasion. I'm not evading my taxes. I'm paying my taxes, chat. Leave me alone. The Ben Hopkins brand. 
The man is a brand and has five gifted subs to the channel all in this very moment. They've gone to Metro Tendo, Ancient Clown, Nanku, Jayway, and John Hell. Welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you guys get in the subscriber section of the Discord. Enjoy the bacon, enjoy the emotes, enjoy everything else. Hey, daddy. That's what I call this sweater. I call it daddy. Let's be honest with ourselves. Do I really want anybody who's on the transfer list for just 30,000? Do I want another, do I, a, a dude whose name is just Rick, right? Mini Mario Pox. Mini Mario PX. The first one was interpretive. Thank you for the Twitch Prime and welcome to an elite online gaming community. Yes, I do actually have, hold on everybody, 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 everybody be quiet. Chill. I have now sex to the second time streaming under it. But for the second time ever and now existing until the end of time. There is a Zealand corporation. Brilliant. Amazing. Absolutely outstanding. Unbelievable. Woo! Yeah! Go Warriors! Yeah! Amazing stuff. Just brilliant. Un unimpeachably brilliant. These guys... Yeah, Zealand LLC. <clears throat> It's pretty sweet. Buy some stock now. That's not, that's not how that works. Can we buy shares? Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. The flags will be changed this weekend. The command strips are in the mail, chat. They are in the mail. See the sudden urge to move to the Cayman Islands. Tango, they give the two months. The island of Zelandia just increased its GDP by $5. Does the island have a flag yet? Uh, yes. You didn't see it in the flag race we did the other day? Ronald. Like McDonald? Or are we just... This dude is... I don't care how good he is at everything else. You have one to six dribbling, five to ten finishing. You're not, like, very athletic. I don't even know why I clicked that. No idea. That dude's transfer is already set. We've covered that. Everybody. So, you three. I mean, Kieran can go if he wants to. Kieran shouldn't have to go. He's the regular starting goalkeeper. It doesn't matter. Hey, guys. Taking a straw poll. Are we going to get to January 4th when the transfer window opens with the takeover still in action? Sponsoring the streamer's showdown, Zealand Corp. I should have named it Zealand Corp LLC. Kind of sad that I didn't. There's no way he's going to be satisfied with this, yeah. It's not himself at the minute. You know, he's signed to be a squad player, and right now he is a... an emergency backup. Yeah, fair enough. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to float you with a... Your concerns are fair. I'm honestly surprised you're at the emergency backup playing level, Joker. You're a pretty good player. Certainly not that much worse than the people in the starting lineup, and I haven't given you a fair shake as part of the first team, and it's not like we've been lighting the world on fire anyways, so I probably should rotate him into the team anyways. Top all of this off with the fact that it's not hard to meet, like, the squad player requirement, and it's definitely worth that over just getting rid of him. Or attempting to battle to keep him, but, which I don't care enough to do, so we might as well you know, play him one or two more times, and he's going to be fine. He'll be perfectly fine. We have a big signing coming in on the 4th, though. If you haven't seen him... <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. The Zonks are inbound. <laughs> Zonks. Mods, let's get a prediction going for the takeover. Dude, there's no way. Like, we're gonna... <sighs> 
Or you, yes. Thank you, Shinshi. Thank you. Owner Shinshi has told the club's potential new owners to speed up their takeover of the club and ensure that it can operate in the upcoming transfer window. Dude, this dude, you are the man. You, you are anime, wow. right? Wow. What a guy. Hi, new guys. Hi, new guys here. Welcome, new guys. I'm Zealand. What a guy, though. He's honestly, he's been a great owner. We knew exactly what to expect. He's been a great owner. Then right after they said he's going to pull the plug if it, he's going to pull the plug if it can't be reached soon. Then they said it's close. The local investor's been in discussions with Shin Shi and an announcement could be M&M's. It could be M&M's, <clears throat> the rapper. Wanna hear a knock knock joke? Knock knock. Save. Save your abysmal flag identifying skills, Lamau get wrecked noob. Can't even beat some random Israeli guy that doesn't even know where Tuvalu is on the map. in the gut I all from the top rope hey Z just catch up with the VODs how we get I need to be caught up bro good to see you on the stream again good to see you too bionic beach I'm sorry you missed out on the TTS because I was too busy recovering for that I all smackdown thank you for the 28 months and being a fantastic mod man last of Mike thank you for the gifted sub <laughs> Well, I all was busy being mean about my flag skills. Well, the British TTS guy was busy saying Tuvalu wrong, the way I said it wrong for like literally ever. Last of Mike was busy being a nice guy and deserves some bacon in the chat. Calicar, you're in the hammers because of the last of Mike. Make sure you get in the subscriber section, the Discord, and everything else. Enjoy being part of an elite online gaming community. And that's one that Chris K has just joined with a Twitch Prime. And that John abides with a fat 10 months. Man. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of hammers out there. This is worse than the Blackwater Massacre. You see UK, Ireland can be making a bid for the 2030 World Cup. Why not? Sounds fun. That'd be great. This is a bit late, but did you know Bezos is retiring? So whose money are we taking now? <laughs> it's still Bezos is like, he's not the CEO. That doesn't mean he doesn't own the company. You know what I mean? Like just because he's not the CEO doesn't mean he still, like he still owns, a, he still owns the company. Like, obviously he doesn't own all of it because it's publicly traded and his wife took like, well, you know, half of it. But like he still owns a ton of the company, so we're still stealing Bezos money and three three things has stolen. Thirty let's see six months at five dollars. That would be thirty dollars of Jeff Bezos money. Thank you for that and congratulations on the silver bacon. Watched your best roll tier video on YouTube after watching I changed my fullbacks to inverted wingbacks. My box to box to him at Sol and it's transformed my tactic and made it insane. Let's go. You guys know that money goes to disease company into Tuvalu for tax evasion. Honestly, if you had to pick between the money going to Jeff Bezos and the money going to me with my tax evading company in Tuvalu, where would you decide to send it? I would decide to send it to myself. I guess it's hard to be unbiased in that situation, but like... I'm really trying to help the people of Tuvalu by providing, like, awareness of their plight. 
first time on the steam uh, on the stream says agro agrothosam agrothosam somebody update me on what's going on um well we're stealing money from jeff bezos time we're playing soccer manager oh yes my favorite game well, we're playing with oriental dragon we are we are on December 29th, 2024, we're in back-to-back -back promotions from the third division to the second division, now into the first division. We are in Liga Nos, and we're ninth out of 18 teams in our first season up here. We've been in a transfer embargo for three months. We have five days, and let's see if the axe drops in a board takeover at some point here. Because we are waiting. Oh, oh, guess what? We can't do anything. We can't do anything because we're still in an embargo. Take the club over, dude. Take it over. Z and pray. Brotato chip, I'm gonna need you to take a little less money than that. Bullied! Absolutely bullied down to 286. Layup boy, thank you for the seven months and questionable. Thank you for the, s the, the you had the seven. Layup boy's on the four. Questionable's got that silver bacon. Layup boy's gonna get there. He keeps seeing praying, he's gonna get there. Hey, Castellanos in the Colombian under 20s for the Campeonato Sudamericano sub 17s? What? Um, Cool. A tournament with sub-17s in its name where... U-20s are playing. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? Absurd. Ridiculous. Patently false that that doesn't make any sense. What's wrong with you? How do you get over a major loss in a save that hurts your motivation to continue? Lost the... Uh, Europa League final with Malmo last night out for a dream run. It's really damaged my desire to continue playing. You just... Look! That happens to me, too. When we failed to gain promotion out of the third division the first time of asking, we finished fourth, and it's a, it was a 46-game season. We finished fourth. We got down to the last couple of games, and we fell out of it. Today I received my two Zealand shirts looking sexy and they're so soft. They are. They're incredibly soft. I turned down a lot of merchandise companies. I wanted to work with somebody that had this much swag. And I only picked this one because they had really soft shirts and there's only one criteria I have for my swag and it's softness. You're so soft. Normally that's an insult. Today it's a compliment. Nicholas Rubio. Nope. Carl Johansson. You know what, big dog? In a month, you're not going to have a team. It's at this point that I look forward to having a long conversation with you about the, you know, the benefits of a nice long trial. Can not scout these guys? Like, their contract's all in in two days. Now, if the embargo's not done yet, I won't be able to, like, do the normal thing that I do in this situation and offer boatloads of trials to all of these people. Where are you coaching? Oriental Dragon in Portugal. We're in Liga Nas in 2024, about to be 2025. We are aiming for, what are you wearing, fashion? Uh, Zealand soft, you heard it here first. It's true. You guys have international? Absolutely, yeah. It ships all over the world. Hello there, vertical bar. The merch company has a factory in Europe, assuming that's where the question's coming this from. This is a message to the board. Hurry the bleep up so Zealand can sign all those new Caledonian wonder kids. For real, dude! Homie, homie. Wait! Thank you for the 10. We match of flags right now and make IRL edit for YouTube full time if he loses. This was Reese's idea, but because you have chat blindness, you didn't see. Say it to my face, Roscoe. Tell me I have chat blind list to my face. God. 
He did. Okay, he did. That's fine. He did. He, he told me that. Roscoe, thank you for the five. Well, we're not going to do a rebadge right now. Jamie, thank you for the ten. That's a speed typing exercise. Finally, some good damn bacon. Yes! The four months. The judge, thank you for being a part of the Elite Online Gaming Community for four months. It's a long time, a lot of commitment, appropriate amount of commitment. Who? Miguel. Say it ain't so. Oh. Miguel, I thought we were bros. Well, Mo Bamba's got to go home. Michelle Lima's picked up an injury. He's out for a month after losing what little playing time he could get recently. It's not. Things are not looking up for Michelle Lima. That's for sure. Why, Billy Bonds? Because we can do a rematch when the new owner fires Zeeland for complaining. Excuse me. Unbelievable. Who knew being a streamer meant reading chat, says Goose Yourself. Chat, I love you. You know this. The Iron Druid, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Welcome to an elite online gaming community. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord. Join people like Smokestack who just cooked his bacon is feeling pretty hot about it at the moment. Thank you for the three months in the Twitch Prime. What happens in a takeover? Never, have it, never, You've never had a takeover happen? Sometimes it's not like a huge bad thing. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's a really good thing. You get like a sugar daddy comes in. What we have right now is a local investor that wants to come in. And so like this isn't a... Uh, this isn't like a catastrophically good or catastrophically bad thing. It's just going to replace the guy we have with another. There's going to be some different culture requirements. If you're doing poorly as a head coach, sometimes they'll just fire you, but we're not. We're like way, way above the expected threshold of where we're supposed to be. So our job won't be in danger on the takeover. We just can't do any transfers until like it switches. It's ridiculous. It's redonkulous. We still have the Chinese demand. If we have the takeover, no, because that is a board uh, board mandated Chinese demand. And so once we have that takeover, the thought process is that we will not have it. That takeover now has four days to complete itself and allow us to maneuver in the January transfer window to try and make a run at European places. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> Hey, pretty. Hey, Vasa D'Amelio. How you doing? Thank you for the five months of the Twitch Prime. And Metsala Sunrise. Thank you for the tier two. We need some bacon in the chat for this. A tier two sub for six months. Gives It gives less money to Jeffy B. Tier twos and tier threes give less money to Jeffy B, percentage-wise. Survived a, a, a takeover last night from embargo enacted to takeover. Embargo lifted last all of 23 hours, 54 minutes, and Zealand has been waiting for months. Yeah, thanks. Hell yeah, brother. Mitsala Sunrise. Hit that six, uh, that, that, that five months. I was like, dude, where's your silver bacon? It was for five months. You got one more month to go. Huge. Why can I not do these trials? The QA guy, thank you for the two months. We've been together for two months. Longest relationship of my life. That's that's a joke, Chad. Can't you sign any Youth Academy players? What do you mean? Like from other teams? No. It's okay. Embargoes don't usually last that long. This one, on the other hand, has decided that it's going to last forever which we are obviously thrilled to death about. I'm going to write a whole book about the experience. What's it like on the other side of the line? The longest relationship of your life is a joke. The longest relationship of my life has been my relationship with jokes. Longer than the Vanessa. Well, I've been I've been married to Vanessa for eight years. 
Didn't even buy me any flowers for a one-year anniversary. Reese, what is our one-year anniversary? Do you even know? Do you even remember? Reese, the editor, everybody, in the chat. Edits most of the YouTube videos. What a guy. Huh? What a guy. From your own academy. Yeah, you can sign players from your own academy if you're in an embargo. There's music. It's right here. It's a little low, I guess. Somebody was listening on quiet mode. You have a TV license? You don't need a license to drive a TV. Yeah. Yeah. Got him. What's up? Didn't see that one coming, huh, chat? Who will get the first Zealand tattoo? My brother's actually got like a bust of my face on his shoulder. We go to the beach. People say it's weird. I, I'm honestly on the side. I think it's cute. You should do a video for failed wonder kids that never turned up. That's been on my that's been on my video ideas list. Five ever, man. Your relationship with jokes was three months, apparently. Probably three good jokes in my entire life. I think if that's what you're referring to. All right, guys, it's almost the end of January 1st and take over. And take over. I'd like to take a moment to take Mombat for gifting the sub one year ago. Zealand, let's give her the biggest home yet. Hey, Mombat! Homie. Then two zero, thank you so much for one year as part of the hammers. Congratulations on reading your reaching your gold bacon in the chat. You're gonna be looking good. Shout out to Mombot who is who got so many people into the hammers for the first time with her gifted subs flying all over the place. When is your next YouTube when is your next YouTube vid gonna be up? Uh Saturday morning, my man. Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, with other days in between sometimes, depending on live videos from IL and extra edits from Sam. So, yeah. But Monday, Wednesday, Saturday is the reliable three-day rotation that Reese and I put out, and then we have IL and Sam, who are both also capable editors. When's the Tottenham save, Zealand? I don't know. I feel like I've done one before. Mombot's gifted 1156, 1156 subs, yeah. Well, she's been, she's a 33 month sub, which means she's all, all but the first month when you could not sub to Zealand. Uh, she has existed as a, a hammer, an, an OG, an original hammer uh, in his, over the course of that three year period, yeah. Gifted an insane amount of subs. <sighs> Sorry, Mo. Looks like we're no longer going to have Mo Bomba. You think I'm going to get... No, oh, whoa, 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 man. Think I'm going to get DMCA'd for that? I feel like I could. That's some pretty creative musical work there. Love the vids. Wait, something. Uh, love the vids. Uh, thanks to you, my sleep pattern is messed. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, our sleep pattern is messed making the vids. So it's like a, it's a lovely uh, system. It's basically 400 subs a year, 33 subs a month. Thank you. What would we do without people who could do math? Where would we be without people that could do math? What's for lunch? I had a lovely homemade uh, salami sandwich 
with provolone cheese and honey mustard and some sea salt and vinegar chips that were tasted like every bit of the two dollars they cost really cheap but they were good because it's, it's possible to make make that yeah dead we would be dead zealand i stand corrected forgot to count the subs mom but gifted under her old name mom but is actually gifted 1650 mom but had an old name why do i not remember this I have an Icelandic flag hanging on my wall, too. Well, Max, that's just what the cool kids do. American snacks. Dude, that wasn't a snack. That was lunch. That was what my lunch was. Uh, last day. Last day for the takeover, chat. Have I ever used the keeper Tim Ruining? No, I've not, but I know that his name is Ruining. We've looked him up before. I can't remember where he... It was Jesse Adka. Oh, it's true. It was Jesse Adka. She's got like 40 gifted subs a month. It's nutty. The takeover finally happened... Uh, no. <laughs> Rotate the flipping flags. I know. We've got the, the, the stickies are in the mail. And because I know you guys will find this hilarious, Mombot bought the stickies and has put them in the mail. It is impossible for me to not get them. New two-year Oriental Dragon deal for Kieran O'Hara. Way! Wow! Reese, the editor. With the five gifted subs from Reese himself. Green, J Bro, Amity, Nurkat, and Aaron uh, Duncan. Welcome to the Hammers. Rather tempted to send you a Tuvalu flag. You know the worst thing? I, I have one. Somebody already sent that. How many seasons have you been in League of Nasus? Our first one up here. EM Seagird, you're in the staff. Now let's see if we get this takeover. But Seagird says any free staff roles prefer naming a scout, but any staff roles acceptable. Would love to name someone Seagird. Big, strong fucking man. Okay. Seagird is in the staff as redeemed name a staff member. Let's do it. Big, strong Viking man. What's up, Tunatic? Seagird, the big, strong Viking man. Reese, thank you so much for that. Rather tempted. Uh, yeah, no, I have I have the two valise flag. Two, are they two valise people? Uh, is it is it two valise? You said you prefer naming a scout. Yeah, we got it. Probably don't want Bukadita. He's like the worst one. But what about Ignacio Fidelef? Hockey Mike, we have Diego Huerta. Hockey Mike, Pultz, Klaus Mausen is a uh, a redeemed staff member, a member of the Hammers that's worked their way in. So we have Fidelef and Munir Bukadita. So we'll go with, let's see, Bukadita's probably got a longer shelf life. His name is henceforth and forevermore Sigurd. Big, strong Viking man. Sigurd, big, strong Viking man. Our North African scout, he's hes a bit of a multiculturalist. Wad, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime and welcome to an elite online gaming community. Reese, I don't like you because you're an Everton fan, but I, I don't like you, but I respect you. And that's really what matters. It's fair enough. Been catching up with the ODFC VODs today while working. Just been able to catch the stream. Has the takeover gone through? Nope. Now, now Chen Xing has thrown down the gauntlet and said, hey, I want you to finish it before we get to the transfer deadline. And so there is a bit of a, like, gauntlet that's been thrown down. And we're looking forward to seeing what exactly that will entail. Will he cancel it if because we're not going to be able to do a de like to do a deal because it's 9 15 p.m. and now it's all of a sudden January 4th. It is the beginning of the transfer window and nothing happened. Cool. How much money can I get in my OK avoid relegation top half finish. 
It's not even changing the money. It's not even worth it at all, dude. That's worth it. Relegation playoffs is worth it because it gets my transfer budget up, like my payroll budget up to like nearly the highest it can be. Like it is avoid relegation. Uh, like it's basically the same thing. So we can just go to avoid relegation and we don't have to like put an outrageous amount of pressure on ourselves. Just avoid relegation. And we get significantly more wage budget, which we'll take. Freeze us up to make some moves. That's kind of funny. Like, I could go all the way to top half finish, and it's like, do we, are we going to give you any more money? We'll give you $4,000. Oh. When you say the match engine is better in FM21, what do you mean? When you're actually playing the games, the way that runs is better. Visually and tactically. The way it runs is better. What's your favorite league? Honestly, the answer is probably the Premier League, but my favorite, my favorite version of the sport to watch is the international tournaments. I don't care what international tournament it's the Asian Cup, right? AFCON, I don't care. International tournaments, the Euros, the Gold Cup, like those are my favorite things to watch. They really put this dude in the U23s, like there's no way. Okay, so he's Daver, Daver Polito. He should be popping up right here, but he ain't. Unavailable. Let's see, maybe he's he's unavailable because he's in international duty. Where, where's the fun in that? That's our big signing, Daver. David Pulido, 18-year-old Colombian striker with imminent ability, places shots, and uh, just a general sense of being a sexy, awesome human being. You know what I'm saying? Can you wear an Everton shirt tomorrow so that they'll win? <laughs> I'll wear it to class. Have faith. Do your eyes not hurt from light mode everywhere? I don't have light mode. What should talk about, Willis? Ain't nobody using light mode here. I use light mode for, like, YouTube studio doesn't have a dark mode. YouTube has a dark mode, obviously. The studio doesn't. What tournaments do you recommend scouting when you play FM saves? Uh, youth international tournaments can be worth scouting sometimes, but... Is the Dark Horse in North American international football? Curacao. <laughs> In terms of a team that nobody knows that's actually pretty good, Curacao's a really rock-solid team. Curacao right now is... I would... You could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Trinidad team that made the World Cup. On Reddit, you do. On Reddit, you have light mode? Oh, okay. Well, I don't usually use Reddit on my computer. I suppose that's true. I have it on dark mode on my phone. But you have to use it on your computer to film those videos, and so... Jamaica, they just got Mikhail Antonio. But they have that. I mean, look, Jamaica in Costa... I think Jamaica's better than Costa Rica right now. I think Jamaica's the third best country in the continent. It's them or Canada. Costa Rica's kind of on a bit of a downswing after a golden generation. But I think it's Mexico, then the U.S., at least until the U.S. proves it can beat Mexico because we choke that every time. Then Jamaica, then Costa Rica. The next team is honestly like Honduras is kind of sucking right now. Panama, they're like team of 30-year-olds made the World Cup last time. That doesn't, they're much worse now. It's not like they were great. But yeah, Jamaica's, they have Leon Bailey. And they, Mikel Antonio, I didn't know that that was official. I didn't think, I thought he was just like, I'm considering it. Like, whoa, I could go play for Jamaica, right? I thought he was just considering it. I didn't know he'd actually pulled the trigger on that. If he had, that's huge. Needs to work on his passing. Run him in a striker role that's going to work on his passing. Hey, guess what? He can't do anything about our incredibly well-kept shortlist. No, Berto Damian, no. No, 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 no. Big fat no from me, dog. No, Berto Damian stays. Didn't know anybody was going to be snooping around the goods. Sebastian Apple, though, thank you for the two months of my fourth season with Atlanta. I haven't been able to win more than an Italian Cup one time. Any tips on how to do better in the Europa and the Champions League? Yeah, you need, you're at a point now where you're making good money. You need to get your scouts all over the world. I'm talking both regions in South America. I'm talking Eastern Europe, North Africa, West Africa, Middle East. You need to be finding Scandinavia as well. Cheap, good, young players that you can bring into your team. You can develop well. I'm not... Look, K 
Canada, in my opinion, would come in after Costa Rica. The big issue for Canada is that they haven't put together enough of a record yet, and so they might have to qualify the long way. Conca There's a short way and a long way to qualify in CONCACAF, and Canada might have to go the long way. If they have to go the long way, they probably aren't going to make it. If they have to go the short way, then they've got a shot. Because Canada obviously has Jonathan David and Alfonso Davies, but you need to put nine other pieces of wood on the field to try and do something. Yeah, under us, current generation of shin kickers is less effective than their previous generation of shin kickers. That's, that is true. But Costa Rica has always been good and competitive. Hey, Zeeland, just installed your regen face pack. Everything and seems to work perfectly. Thank you. Makes the regions feel way better than just random regen faces. Let's go. Homie. Glad you enjoy it. The takeover has not happened. No. The Jamaican FA president said that a few UK-based players are beginning their transition and getting passports. That's awesome. Jamaicans are really proud people. Uh, we have some family friends that are Jamaican. And that's like, the, di the diaspora is very strong. Like, even if you aren't born in Jamaica, it's very like, you know, feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme vibes. Come on up. It's bobsled time. One of the best movies. One of the best movies. This takeover is never going to end. I'm going to die and this takeover is still going to be going on. 100 years from now, I'm going to be in a cryogenic chamber getting frozen. And I'm going to be like, is the takeover done? Are you sure? Can we finally sign somebody? Hey, Zealand, my Zealand branded hoodie arrived today. It's so freaking soft, homie. Bro. <laughs> Glad you like it. It hasn't fallen through. No. Medium terror. The takeover is still just going on. Is North America worst football region? No, that would be Oceania. And then Asia. And then North America. And then I would put Africa ahead of North America. And then South America. And then Europe for depth. Does region face pack work after I started a save? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can be installed in the middle of that. First time here, Magic Loans are a no-go in Spain. Greetings from Greetings from here. Why are Magic Loans a no-go in Spain? I love Magic Loans. Obviously, made a video about them. You have a fantastic record against Oscar Cano. It's 22 players in the pitch. I'm not sure how things like that matter, though, to be honest. Do you have an opinion on Oscar Cano's pref uh, preference for patient possession game? Big fan of the way Oscar has his side playing. It makes him very tough to play against. We'll have to make sure we've got the fitness required to press them for long periods of the game. Uh-huh. You sound like you're worried about the strength of the opposition on Monday. Is it fair to say you think Cano's side have the advantage over you? No. I know my side plays better stuff. Hamshik is going to retire at the end of the season. Uh, he's been a terrific player, but time catches up with everybody. If he feels it's time, then it's time. You had a break of 14 days. How's it going to affect the players? Had to make sure the training intensity has been sufficient to make up for the lack of matches. We can't afford a slow start. It's true. Uh, how pleased are you that O'Hara signed a new contract? Pleased that he wants to be here. I'm pleased he wants to be part of the Oriental Dragon success. He's also a decent goalkeeper. He's the backup for the Irish national team. A little prestige for the club there. A little, little prestige. Cool Runnings is one of my fave of all times that I completely forgot. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. I'm Rabu. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, by the way. Jamaica's looking to recruit Nathan Redmond, Demari, and Andre Gray, Mason Holgate, and other half Jamaicans in the top two flights of English football. It's a good plan. The Jamaican Domestic League produces a couple of decent players, too. There are two... Look, there are two countries that Jamaica pulls its players from. Like, literally two countries. The United States and the UK. Like, that's where every Jamaican national team player plays. They're very locked in to that line and there'll always be like a backup center back who's still playing in Jamaica because their league isn't horrific it's not like so bad it's kind of like the Icelandic league where it's like if there's one guy from it he probably can hang my last name is Silva I'm personally offended by your video today yeah you and all the other Silvas <laughs> so true though
Hey, guess what? This embargo, this whole embargo thing in the middle of a transfer window, it started in, let's see, three months from December 28th. Let's go November, October, na, 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 September. Okay. It's been going on since late September, and we are now in January. Somebody, please, for the love of whatever deity you believe in, wrap this up. I'm losing my mind. Well, then there's Leon Bailey in Germany. So nice. How did Leon Bailey end up in Germany? I don't know if I know that path at all. I, it's, I know it's weird and like him and like his his dad was holding the national team of Jamaica hostage and said Leon Bailey wouldn't play for Jamaica until his brother got called up and his brother is like some serious buns and terrible. Oh, so he came up through Phoenix and then like went, oh, he did the US to Germany move. Leithling. Well, Austria. Just throwing it back to 1940 this fine Wednesday. Uh, Trenchen. Slovakian team. Then Genk and then Bayer Leverkusen. So he never... So he came up through Phoenix and then... Let's see. 10 years ago when he was 13, he made the move to Liefring in Austria. So... Nice. Wow. Sporting getting smacked around by Santa Clara. Sucks. This is not too shabby. Cool, bro. Talking to the board. Red Bull program, Gink have scouts in Jamaica. It was Gink. KRC. Picked him out. Why doesn't the board meet in the middle? Zealand's losing his mind just a little. Thank you. Thank you. Inspire, inspired lyrics from Stevie T. This is not too shabby in Cadaver. Thank you for that eight months. I appreciate it. You're looking beautiful out there. Silva to Silva. Silva! From what level of a football should I be able to wire the world financially? If you are in a top five league or if you are in a league that's like top 15 or top 20 and you are in it and you're like in European play all the time, that's the level that you should be at to be able to wire the world effectively. It, like where it's a wise use of your scouts to do so. Okay, league match. Aziz Ishtewi, Thiago Nus, Matt Butcher, Josh Harup, uh, don't we need Joka? Oh, he's such a Joka. That's unbelievable. What a guy. He's injured, so who cares? I care. Diaz and for Guerrero. Well, Pelier, we, we save him for the League Cup. I mean, we are in the League Cup semifinals, and I'm not saying that's, uh, you know, I'm not saying it's only because of Wapelier, but it, it, but it is. The only reason we're there is because of Rob and Wopelia. Eric Mendez needs to be around there again, and we need to get rid of the unavailables. So we already have our entire youth team as part of our senior squad before there's that one person that's never seen the team before and goes, Oh my god! How many people do you have? That's why. Castellanos is unavailable. Is he though? I didn't see any red in the in the, the availability report. Because he's not in the availability report. Crafty little devil that way. Joka is though, and he can play. Patty Monier? No, no, no. Kieran O'Hara? Yeah. like man mark this guy prevent the link up play is Cassio a particularly fast player like he's just Mr. Balanced out there he does everything well he does nothing really well 
It makes them kind of annoying to play against because you don't know how they're going to contribute to the game on that particular day. It's a little weird, isn't it? Yo, Josh Ron, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. Wow. Welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord. When you get a narrow win against a bad team, is it better to let the team know that they need to improve? Yes, no matter what the other part of this question is yes that's the answer should you just take the guaranteed look inspired and motivated no they will get complacent like complacent if you do that you need to set the bar of what you expect from your team day in and day out and you do that by saying those things uh jamaican here we have football talent but there's no real development in the professional game out here because the most port popular competitions the high school commissions meaning schools will repeat students until they're 20 and no longer eligible instead of there being an actual academy system for the clubs. This means the talented Jamaicans have to go elsewhere to get the development that they need. That's what I meant. And there's two places that they typically go, which are uh, the United States. They go through MLS academies or they go play in the USL uh, or they go to England. So it's very rare, like where Leon Bailey is at the moment, Salm Chad, to be, you know, there. But it's interesting. There's always those little... I expect a win tonight. You're demotivated, really. Tyler, I have faith in you. Doesn't matter. Cool. Great start, boys. While we wait for this embargo to end, we do have to play some league matches, and this Tundela team has turned its form around in a huge way since it was bottom of the league. Okay. <sighs> like the fact that it's high school sports, in order to try and win at those high school sports, they keep repeating, like, players. So they keep replaying, like redoing years of school. That's true. Tundela beat Porto. One of the most improbable results we've ever seen. They'd lost their first five matches. Porto had won their first five matches and Tundela clean sheeted Porto, 1-0. We don't have a clean sheet all season. That's still like a true statement. We have gutted out a mid-table performance so far without a clean sheet, which is miraculous to me because I really value defense. I like playing good defense. Good. Just don't let them get comfortable. Like we don't have to defend them in their half to the half of the field, but. Pressuring them off is nice. Force them into that long ball, then we can collect possession. I wish Tiwi wants to uh, attack mode. Ooh, nice. Pinto. Oh, he's on. No, he's not. He's not. I lied. I lied to you. Never trust me. Except you should, but not not there. Hey, Z, just got an awesome DM regen. I want to train him as a center midfielder. Should I put him in a defensive unit? Uh, the attacking unit. for center. If you want, you want to develop his offensive skill set. So, uh, attacking unit. It's whatever skill set you want to develop. Nice pass, Hamshik. Madrid needs to go faster with that. And Madrid honestly should have been there to collect that deflected ball. At least he's there to collect that ball. Classy. Just dispatched the striker. Madrid using that athleticism. This is this is nice. This is very nice. I respect him trying to figure out a way to deliver a pass that we could actually score off of, too. He just couldn't. Noose? Noose? Why did I even raise my voice? It didn't look like it was going in. Yep. Fine. Come on, butcher. It's what you're out there to do. Just keep running, keep moving. Do everything well. <sighs> don't, 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 don't. Come on, man. Every, every challenge in the box, it's like I'm on pins and needles. He just won the ball. Doesn't put you to huge dis- Thank you! God, I love the fact that VAR works. If anything, we go to VAR too much in this game. It's not a penalty, Rev. We all know that. It's a clean challenge. It's good defending. It's, it's exactly, if he does that on the training ground, I'm applauding. 
We appreciate his contribution. Pair up. This would be a nice time to, well... He does have a goal for Manchester United, Josh Harrop. Only one, but he has a Premier League goal for Manchester United. Is he real? First what shot to Chessie. First shot. Chessie, uh, the the new manager that they brought in after we couldn't sign the guy because the manager, the new manager they brought in, didn't want to sell him. Uh, one shot off a set piece scramble play. I love it. Come on, boys. We're not doing a lot of anything right now, are we? Are we? Everybody? Not if you think we're doing a lot of anything, because we're not, okay? Change our lines, because we have Maglor out there. We can play a completely different type of game with Maglor on the field. Because that man can catch... He can catch most strikers in this league, no problem, with the ball over the top. So we can play in their half of the field, which would be nice. Key in! Let's go! Come on, get in! Slip him in. Thank you. The Tennessee, baby. The Tennessee. This is good composure. He waits. All the defenders get removed in front of him. He just kind of passes the ball into the back of the net. The Tunisian prodigy. The 26-year-old archaeological discovery in North Africa that has been a revelation. And yet. Iago Diaz gets you off. Uh, who else? Harup having an absolute stormer. We can take you off for Juka. You steal it. Atta boy, Joka. Tons of shall. That is just bad. That's just really bad. Um, well. It just opened up. They're playing it. The offense is not their game here. Uh, we just can't keep, we, we can't keep track of anybody, man. I like... Come on, boys. We gotta just keep scoring. We gotta just keep scoring. That was that was Key and Harry's just losing the runner. Alright, Butcher. Got noose into a dangerous little area. Drag back. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. That's fine. Pinto with another chance. Closer and Maglor. Again. The famous Zealand four triple two coming out. Have a great day. (laughs) 
Cedric Ola, thank you for the seven months. We will do our best to have a great day. And Ranaldinho, thank you for those three months. We already answered that. The chessy question. Come on. Way to turn the momentum. Now we need to be able to slip a pass to, to somebody. Hamshik messed it up. Come on, lads. Come on, come on. Oriental dragons all the way, baby. Why do we have to go on through the, the this process to like we already know he's offside it's like a really obvious one we, we didn't have to go through that whole process okay let's just see if they raise the flag instantly he raised the flag instantly oriental dragons all the way and jay khan gets it thank you for the twitch prime Come on, lads. The goals, please. Eric Mendez is on the field. We know what that means. We're bound for goals. Concession needs to slow. 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 Take that penalty call. Call that one a flyby from Key and Harry's. Left us wide open. For some reason, Pinto's guarding air instead of filling into the middle here. Uh, news. Oh, dude, bring the ball in and run. Why are we nodding it back? Here, yeah, I want I want you to explain this to me. This is this is this is just buggy in the match engine here. This is Jal Pinto. Watch what he does in this play. He starts to run to the guy and then just goes backwards. It's like the game didn't compute that Maglor had recovered his position and was defending the guy he was standing next to. Last two changes we can make. Three, I guess. <sighs> Come on, guys. I can't, like, just the little lapses. It's not getting outplayed for a full 90 minutes being besieged or something in the in these positions. Oh my God, Johan! He's right there! Johan! <laughs> Johan! You are so talented. Why are you always bad? Johan! It's on a freaking merry-go-round looking for the winger. The wing doesn't move! It's always in the same place! What do you mean you don't know where the ball's going? The terrible last 15 minutes. Enough with this, dude! What was that? Absolute melon of a game coming off that 14-day break. I need this. I need this for my soul right now. I want a whole new defense immediately. Stat. Goodness me, man.
I mean, the defense on this team, so bad. Uh, switch this up, go to a 4 3 3. Dump Hara. Couldn't even find my headphones, chat. We went a little too hard with that freelancer. God, the cat jams are always beautiful. Complete emotional reset. Anytime you hit that. Definitely a little sweaty though. We're gonna get this uh get this sweater off here. Oh yeah. Is there a cool way to take off a jumper? Definitely not. Ugh. Oh, easy. Okay, ready to go. Santa Clara, they're the second best team in the league. This should be an absolute cake. Nice sweater. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Ashley Gaming, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Now with that color. Whoa. Chad, are we going to accept this? That's somebody hating on that sweater. What? Hi, not Dr. Benji smile. Pound for the reload. Thank you for the three months. Congrats on finally reaching the TTS. They deserve a timeout. They don't like the sweater. Get out. If you don't like the sweater, get out. Enough. Norberto Damian. Apparently, it's going to be a nice, huge battle for that man. I wants to go out on loan to help secure a permanent move away from the club. Uh, you are. You do realize your contract's ending at the end of like this season, right? Unable to resolve Thomas Galvan's happiness. Um, I think you're right. I got no problem with that. If, like, literally anybody wants you on a transfer or a loan, Thomas, we will take that because you've fallen completely out of first team consideration. Uh, and we're aware of that. I might be colorblind after that sweater. Watch it. Just got back. Has the takeover happened yet? It has not. It is not. It's. It, it, it is. It. It has not happened.
I don't know why I just felt like pulling up the mod view for the first time. I'd never pulled it up. Black terms, permitted terms. How frustrating is it to take over? Oh, it's ridiculously frustrating. We're in a transfer window with like, we're just not, everybody else is. It's not just dying. They said it was close to being finished. Uh, as a new viewer, what has happened on this stream? Surgery with all this cat jam. If I need neck surgery when I'm 40, that's okay. Because I'll be in the surgery with my hands up like this. <laughs> Surgically repair my neck from too much aggressive head banging. There was no reason for me to open that at all. I just had never seen the mod view. I was like, yo, I need to check this out. Cap, thank you for the $5 donation. And I appreciate your concern for my neck, but we will make it. We will make it. Logan Vlester might have accidentally made a takeover bid, then just forgot about it altogether. Apparently he has. Because we've not seen him since. International man of mystery, local investor, cannot be found. It was just a prank, really. He just sent a he sent a little note to us, said, Hey, uh, I'm looking to buy your club. Never even wrote his name, just said local investor, and we we were like, Oh. Chin Shi was like, ah, oh, interesting. Somebody wants to buy the club and now is holding up all transfers until it's done. Have you knew you noticed differences between the US and UK translations of FM? Uh, one, we have general managers, not directors of football. Two, we give pep talks, not team talks. Three, wages are set to yearly, and obviously the currency. <laughs> he got his name wrong. It's Local Investore Silva. Genius. Is it a bug? No, it's just a long takeover. It's still working. I mean, like all of the normal things are happening. Chin Shi went and said, hey, uh, like, hey, I want to finish this deal. I'm going to cancel this deal, like potentially cancel this deal if you're interested in like uh, Gioria on loan, Molinas, Antosh. I'm okay with all three of those. That's something that they're looking at. It could work. Agreed playing time. Definitely cup goalkeeper for Antosh now. Subalaga. Whoa there, Sailor. That is the wrong direction for somebody with your potential. Should probably look for a loan, all things considered there. About to be too many takers. Maybe a Portuguese second division team. We'll see. I'm going to have to eat some of that wage. Whoa! Wow. Tiberius McCann! Best way to force a fast takeover? I don't know. You got any tips? Let me know. Winning always helps. Tiberius McCann with the five gifted subs. Sozia in Seoul. Josh Peach. James the Bad Gamer. And Gundhus. Welcome to an elite online gaming community. Can you go to the board and ask about the takeover? Honestly, I don't know. I've never experimented with that. I don't know if I want to fiddle with it either because I kind of want the takeover to go through because then we're not mandated to sign Chinese players. We'll just do it because we want to do it. Oh, Sporting Covilia actually will pay the money, but they can't give them the playing time. That's weird. What about like guaranteed first team playing time, but the money's not locked in. How do we feel about that? Does it change anything? Ruan Nascimento. You go on the... Well, you go on nothing. We need to scout you more. Aaron Molinas. We were trying to sell earlier, but... Didn't get a better... We, we couldn't get any offer, if I remember correctly. Sheik Trore. Just offer him out. See if somebody wants to lock that deal up now. Fabian Rodriguez... Now that this guy is going to be on the team for a few days, I think that it is worth. I not find this guy. Where is Daver Polito?
the unavailable thing. It's because he's on international duty. Duh. It's because I have an unavailable filter on. I keep forgetting he's on youth team international duty. And so cool. Even during the embargo, we have this signing we made forever ago. Who's a really good player, but he's on freaking international duty. So we can't pick him. Awesome. Great job. Love it. Any tips for loaning players out? Some of my players end up with no playing time. Then recall them. Uh, what you have to do is, you know, lock it in. Say they're going to be a regular first team player. And then if they're, if they're not, you recall them. Uh, or you try and bully the person into it. Uh, your squad is absurdly large. Maybe cut some players in the future. This includes every play. This is every player at the entire club. U23s, U19s, everybody. This is every player at the entire club Oriental Dragon, so you can cut it at like here, down, and those are youth teams. So when you think about it that way, it's, our squad is not that big. Uh, Sporting Covelia will pay 80% of his wage and give him a regular starter. Good deal for me. Uh, Shitra Ray wants to do a, what is it, 22? Sound good to you? Who is this? Shambeli, uh, Shambeli Tel in Ligue 2. 29-year-old Sheik Trore. We were going to let him go at the end of the season, so we might as well cash in now. Uh, Antosh ineligible. I say, can you see? Uh, all of you guys ineligible because, well, you have to be somewhere else on that day, namely the match itself. Uh, Mosquito finally doing a deal. We had a transfer in place for good old Mosquito back in the day. Too bad he wasn't good. Riz Rizaza, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Random Ulbix, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Wow. Yo, with the, with the two primes, the $10 of Jeff Bezos money to be part of an elite online gaming community. It's pretty nuts. Hey, guess what? Nuno Silva. Find themselves second. You share the view that you can get something out of the match. We'll give it all we've got, that's for sure. They stunned the competition, beating Porto last time out. They're very impressive. It's going to be a tough match. Look. Uh, we need to put together a good run of results. It needs to start happening right here. There's a lot of speculation this week surrounding the future of Paulo Duarte with experts critical and some fans apparently losing patience with the Nacional head coach. What are your thoughts on this matter? I hope Nacional stick to him. I, it's not my place to comment. I don't know who this guy is. I don't know what the heck's going on. I don't know what the flop is up. No, we still do not have the takeover. Don't worry. It has not happened. Tiberius, thank you again for those five gifted subs. It's such a kind gesture. Gifting a batch of five subs, getting them into the hammers. If you have a promising 16-year-old, can I do any harm by immediately sticking him to the U23s? Unless he's not good enough to play? No. Like, unless he's not good enough to play at that level and so he won't get the playing time in those matches with that team, then then no, I, I there's no real significant harm that you're going to do him. Diego Calle, and look at that training rating again. That must mean he's developing so much. Don't need to scout him. There's contracts up in less than six months, which means they're not re-signing him, so we'll be able to snatch him again but of course we would be trialing a bunch of people right now we've spent 11 days since the contracts that we've been tracking for sometimes even years have ended but because of a transfer embargo we can't do anything about it yes it's all right we at oriental dragon we succeed despite that that is our goal our singular mission now we're going to shock the world and take three points off santa clara at home get ourselves back right into the middle of the table Do I do the training for U19s? I do the individual training, not the team training. Did anything interesting happen? Uh, we lost. Uh, got kind of FM'd. Definitely didn't deserve to lose the game. Kind of up in the air whether we actually deserve to win the game because they bossed us for the last 15 minutes of it, but... What can I say? We gave up their first two shots, went in. Is 10 pace a deal breaker for a center back in the Bundesliga? He better be very good at some other things. 
Can I sell him early? No? Okay, cool. It's going, really, he's going, oh, they're in the challenge league. Ah, uh, okay. We'll get him out, get him out of my face. I don't like playing people that are committed to another club, so we'll get him to the U23s. Somebody wants Tomas Galvan. Well, he can't break into the team. We got other players. Good, we got an Alberto. Is he still trying to improve? Okay. Maglor, Kean Harry's, Shaw Pinto, because I'm assuming Castellano, Castellanos is still classified as unavailable. He is. Cool. Amshik, uh, Kyoza, and Butcher. It's a bit of a weird combination, but got to mix it up a little bit. Your development kind of sucks right now, Kyoza. It's good to see. I need to loan though. It's not gonna. It's not gonna get any development here. Hey. Composition instructions to Matias Gomez, who is a run at the other team type of person, but he doesn't have bad vision, so we're not going to not close him down. Uh, Maximiliano Quadra, Lincoln. Mr. Balanced. I think we can hang with the. Uh, I just hate that. We're going to go with none of this. Why would we not close this guy down? Let's be a long ball player. We're going to close on him. Okay. It's going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. This is a good team. We don't have Josh Harrop for this game, and he's one of the players that can go out and make like a huge difference for us. Uh, we owe them. Apparently the last time I played them. Like, guys, we're in 11th. Relegation zone starts at position 16. I know you think we're close to it, but chill. Like, if everybody below us wins, we're okay. Keep playing the way I know we can. How about we get a clean sheet today, chat? Clean sheet. Right now, Lord Thywind. Thank you so much for the tier one. Show those FIFA players and Kelvin what's next, big month. Oh, What's what next month? I, I will show them what's what. We almost did. I mean, we made the final last time. We almost showed them what was what. Then we got walked in the final, but you know, we did a lot of great work to get there. We just we'll go, we just gotta go one better. And then Calvin will be there next month at the showdown. It's gonna be a blast. And a rip roar in good time. Ooh, like this. Like this early. Schwapinto. Maglor. Enough. I've seen you miss too many. We switch. Ian Harry's, you are now the lead focus on our set pieces. Maglor, you have been relegated. It's kind of a toss up between the two of them, anyways. We're going with heading over athleticism. Oh, we're there. Nice. Homshit, keep it moving quickly. Good. Ishtiwi. Got the overlap, can go inside. This is classy. This is classy. Gotta be. It's gotta be a goal. <laughs> Second best team in the league. They've never seen anything like Oriental Dragon before. Bravos, ODFC. It was, he, he, ironically, weirdly enough, his poorly weighted but very intelligent through ball ended up teeing him up for the goal. It was a great pass. He just missed it by an inch and the defenders scrambling it away put Diaz back in towards the goal. O'Hara picked up a yellow. For what? Time wasting in the 18th minute? That's not who we are. Come on, Diaz. Come on, Diaz. Come on, Diaz. <sighs> you just missed it again, but he's in anyways. Tiago Diaz looking dangerous today. It's the second time he's gone for pass, and I was like, ooh. Amen, sister.
We have to be there. Thank you, Johan Madrid. McGlore back to O'Hara, who's rock solid with the ball. I say McGlore is the same, though, so if we could not play through him in this situation. It's not shocking, but, like, he and Harry's is, is good, and that's kind of what we want McGlore to do in that situation. Honestly, Hamshik needs to be, like, the release valve for us there. Ooh, that got through. That's a good save. Boy, Kian. This there right here. Big ol' long throw. Kian Harry's. What are we trying to do there, man? We trying to knock it down? Not for an attacking position, but for some kind of possession over there. That would have been a really good call. Come on, Ishtiwi. Come on, Aziz. The Tennessee. Oh, here it is. Butcher. Amshik. Um, yeah, Aziz! It's okay, still got passes open. Keep it on your left. Take a corner. Should have should have just gone for it with his left foot. Just kind of a blind ball into an area. Well, Key and Harry's didn't do much better, but still. Best outcome for the takeover is they changed from Chinese players to Welsh ones just to fly that dragon flag. It's a local investor. I guess, you know, the Welsh vacationing in Portugal become a local investor over time. What a time to score a second goal right here. What a time to score a second. Pinto. Jean Pinto. Just like he was doing it in the semi-pro days. Amsha, Kioza. What are we looking for here? Diaz? <sighs> Had a good shooting pocket. He takes a hundred of those every time he's on the training pitch. Harry's? Why is it still Maglar? It's the second option. Harry's is the target. I need a influential aerial center back. So help me. I'm obviously delighted with the way we're playing. We're up one nothing against the second best team in the league right now. Really frustrating for them. For us, a great sign that we, you know, we still belong here. Yeah, we lost a disappointing one on the road to Tundela, but here we are. Clean sheet. Now. Let's go, boys. Let's go. The FM camera is sidelined with the height all the way to that, uh, the height all the way down. That's why you make the change, chat. It's why you make the change. The keeper got his hands to it, just couldn't make the save. Kean Harry's powers it through, guts it in off of a corner. You're with him. You're with him. Good defense, Maglor. Really should have cut the shot off, which I thought you were going to do. Kieran O'Hara seemed really surprised the shot got through at all and just kind of stood there. Nothing looked great. Let's go, man. Oh, Kioza, he's got 16 passing. Whatever he's trying to do, he should be able to do it. He really shouldn't miss all that often. Oh, Johan, uh, perpetually facing the wrong direction. Maglor's got the recovery speed and aces and spades to shut that down, but... boy, Harry's. Oh, noose. Dropping deep in that false nine to pick the ball up. Now it's a wall of people running forward. Come on, Hamshik. I dream about having you in a position with four guys making a run in front of you because you're the one that's supposed to be able to figure out who the ball is supposed to go to. Oh, there it is. He heard me. What a freaking outstand. No, no. Dude, you drew the line is wrong, man. 
There's another dude! This guy! This guy! They drew the line on this guy! What about this? What about that guy? Leonidov! Really? Really? I played the goal suck because I didn't think he was off! Oh! This is not the spirit of the game, Chad. This is like, man, I got an extra size up in my boots. This is not the spirit of the game. Let's get a data analyst view. Let's get a data analyst view. Oh, come on, dude. Three months today, baby. Happy anniversary to me. Like, I really try and be objective about this. Like, if he's offside, I'm going to say he's offside. But chat, I, am I hallucinating? Like, he looks, he's onside. This is Humshik hitting the ball in the pass. We can't show the line, but they didn't, they did not draw the line right. <sighs> oh, chat. Chat, caffeinated happiness. Thank you for the three months. Happy anniversary. Hey, you don't have to say happy anniversary to yourself. That's what we're here for. We hype you up because we're on the hammers. And don't worry, Derek, I am going to look up Namdi Collins. Maisel, thank you so much for cat jamming two months. Looking forward to many, many more. It's part of the hammers. Caffeinated happiness in the three months. Happy anniversary to you. Here, chat, let's uh, everybody you tag caffeinated happiness at caffeinated happiness and say happy anniversary. Happy subversary, whatever you want to do. It's like Liverpool. Nobody walks alone. Sorry I said that, Reese. You don't have to celebrate yourself. We celebrate for you. You've been part of the Hammers for three months. That's a significant amount of time. <laughs> I'm being told I have to tag you and celebrate your subversary. Basically. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Yuri, thank you for the six months. Congrats to the silver bacon. I used my ruler to make a line. He is on side. You were robbed. I feel terrible. Miles! 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 Nick, you'll do. Nick! Do you see this? It's right next to your head, Nick. I just want... Look, if it's VAR, right? If this is lower leagues, I'm okay with that, Nick. I really am because you know what? Like the... the... Nick, 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 Nick. I'm okay with that because refs make mistakes, right? But if it's VAR, I can see this. I don't have the lines in the slow-mo, Nick. Nicholas. Nickathan. Nickathy. I just want you to have the VAR get it right more than they do in real life. I know they get it wrong. <sighs> that's that's all, Nickathy. Go back in your hole. Dang it, Nickathy! Spilled water all over myself. Somehow I managed to miss all the important, incredibly expensive electronics and just spilled water straight into my lap, so... That's what I'm dealing with. How are you doing? Damn it, Nick. Stop hiring <laughs> English refs. Oh, man. That was such a good pass. It was such a beautiful goal. We were all ready to celebrate a wrap. Yeah, can you imagine if we were losing? For real. Demand more. Thank you so much for the three months. Congrats on cooking your bacon. But Yuri, seriously, Yuri, thank you for the six months. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you for the six months and congratulations on your silver bacon. You joined people like Nick Biggles, a Nickathy in his own right, who hit the seven months a few minutes ago with that Twitch Prime. Thank you for that. Guys, I don't want to jinx it, and I probably will. We have a clean sheet right now. We haven't held a clean sheet all season long. This would be the first clean sheet of the season if we held on to it. And in order to try and hold on to it, we go to ball winner Marcos Rivadero for more. Come on. Knock it away. Kieran, we need a better parry than that. Don't just knock it down. Get it out of there. Send it a direction. Send it somewhere away. Attaboy, Maglor. Come on, Kiyozi, you're fast. Come on, Kiyozi, you're fast. So's that guy, apparently. Dang it. Look at how Maglor's like there waiting for the guy to pick the ball up. For him to be flagged off sides. What a waste of energy. Mm, oh, baby, here it is. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Yes! We're going to beat the second team in the league in January. Oriental Dragon are what's up. An absolute anomaly 3-0 win over Santa Clara at home. And we deserved it. We doubled them up on XG and then some. 186 to 7-7 out, shot them, out, possessed them. God, if we could just play like that more often. I'm so happy for you guys. You bounce back after a tough road loss to Tendela where everybody's frustrated. We're in the middle of a takeover, whatever's going on. And you're able to stay focused and pump out a clean sheet and a three-goal win. And we weren't complacent. I mean, we we played very well. Like, how did you think you played? I, I thought we played an exceptional game. That we were brilliant. I loved it. Uh, lone intentions for Bright Muhammad. Cool regular starter in the Portuguese third division. Counts. He's going to Baramar. Ha, huh, I remember when they used to be our competition. Now we're loaning players to them. <laughs> yeah. This guy goes into the loan category for a year. This guy goes into the... Actually, we know how good he is. We can decide if we want him right now, and we don't. So fun, fun times. Super happy fun times. Started scouting Ron Lajmi. Should just be all, like, started scouting or previously scouted... Turn dominance into victory against Santa Clara. Harry's back two goals off set pieces, so uh, I wouldn't swat even Lucas Hernandez. Um, he's a center back. He's, he had a good, solid game. He was uh, he was brilliant, but I, I can't say that. Apparently, I can only say he's better than someone on the French national team. Oriental Dragons scored the high proportion of their goals in the early stages of either half. Another team start rather tentatively. We try and get out, take advantage of that. Can you offer an insight and way you set up your team to play? Uh, we want to win. Isn't that the reason we're all here? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not, it's not like I'm running my style right now. I'm just trying to win games. That's hard enough to do. We're a club nobody thought was good enough for the second division hanging in the middle, like the mid table of Liga Nas. We just beat Santa Clara, who's like having a storming season. And we got a clean sheet. <laughs> Hey Z, why are you accepting that you get uh, that you're going bald and save it off, shave it off? No, I've got like 20 years left, dude, of like some decent hair. It's because I have a ton of hair, right? The thing is, the process has just started. Like I'm not, you know, I've got a very full head of hair, but the line is not as low as it used to be. Like we're really putting in some work on the power alleys right now. But honestly, I probably got like a, you know, I've got plenty of strong time left with my hair. It's just that it has begun to go. I guess the prime of life eludes me at this point, right? Hair-wise. 
I put my expert Photoshop skills to the test. I can't confirm ODFC striker was offside. Rally's the denial this will not age well no I've like the head shape of my family lends itself to power alleys very aggressively and if it does go I don't care I'm not like super emotionally attached to having flow you know so as another friend I had in college who was also like starting to lose his hair a little bit was just like you just you got no control over it if it goes it goes it doesn't control how super sexy you are it just migrates you know evident evident right i can't even i i, I like i need glasses or something if you can see that that's offside and i i just can't i just don't see anything going on there I did zoom in. That was the zoomed in version. The power alleys are moving at say maximum speed. They're moving at maximum speed. Leonga uh, believes he, I think he believes he's not good enough to be, to ever be a regular player. Wow, that's depressing, Ayub. Come on, you're not bad. So what are you unhappy about exactly? I uh, doesn't care. Okay. Maybe he was like looking to move somewhere else because he didn't think he was good enough to play on the team. But like, come on. I signed you. I put you on the bench for the last couple of matches. Like, wow, there are five teams, four or five teams at 16 points. We're comfortably four points ahead of that. This is a tough game on the road against Braga. Hey, by the way, the f takeover, man, please. You're okay, Caleb. I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate the effort. JXTC, drink it in. I actually need to go get more water. I'm gonna be doing these uh, these hydrates. Made the decision to loan you out so you can continue your development. I really don't want you stagnate at this club. So let's hit another continue, and then I'm gonna go um, snatch some agua. What? <sighs> Should take just a second. We got that sweet, sweet Brita filter. Why are you guys spending so much money on the other side of the bet? You're making it so we get less money, you fools. That's how betting works, unfortunately. You can attempt to debate your side, but the problem is if you successfully debate your side, then too many people join your side, right? And that flips it. Oh, so end of January is pretty, uh, pretty busy time. Throw in three matches in a week, including Boa Vista, Sporting, and Braga. Love it. At least Boa Vista's bad. And Sporting is, like, kind of in a striking distance for us because they're having a terrible season. So maybe we can make a move. Tindela just keeps winning, dude. Maybe Tindela's turned a corner.
miss. Only by a little bit. I didn't miss the chair by a lot. I felt like I was kind of close and then just kind of... Is he sleeping? Yeah, yeah, that's what he's doing. He's sleeping. I had to get water. People redeem hydrates. I ex I'm expected to honor that commitment. I'm expected to be there. Be present and be hydrated, okay? Pump out some push-ups while you hydrate. Wait, does this count? Hold on. I have an idea. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Ugh. One. Yeah. Two. Okay. Mm -hmm. ah! Three. I've never gotten to four before. Woo, boys! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Too good. Too good. That's my workout for the month. What are you guys up to? You guys doing anything or... Hey, guess what? He's off the end of contract shortlist. Another person I can't sign because we're in the embargo. It's great. Look at those absolute weapons. Yeah, bring these to the gun show. Joka got a cold after his other little injury. Dude can't catch a break. Oh, it's the Tasa de Port... Uh, no, we're out of that. Oh, it's the League Cup. That's why we play sporting. We play sporting in the Robin Wopelier Invitational, otherwise known as the Tasa de Liga Allianz Cup. It's really easy. Guard! <laughs> <laughs> the gifted sub to Jay Sanity. Love the rowdies. Nice shirt. Thank you. I'm from Tampa, so I got to rep, rep it a little when I can. Bag of shirt, you know. Jay Sanity. Welcome to an elite online gaming community. Maverick legend. Same thing to you. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of our Discord. Welcome to the Hammers. Enjoy the bacon, the emotes. You know, the huge resume booster you've just acquired. No Tampa Bay Mutiny. I did go to a game when I was a kid. Great memory. Signed a great regen winger from El Salvador and nicknamed him the Latino Rabinho. Uh, nice. Thank you. Player lookup. Uh, it was Namdi Collins. I remember. Somebody actually did want to look up. Uh, yeah, okay. Should be. Yeah, I had a feeling it was spelled wrong. Namdi. I was literally saying it right, but the way it was, the way it was spelled was Namandi. Namandi Collins. No, it's Namdi Collins. He has not played for Bayern. Bayern bought him for 20 million. God, stonks from Dortmund here. Outrageous, outrageously good stuff from Dortmund. They let him go for free to Hoffenheim. He plays 23 games in his first season at Hoffenheim with a 6.7. And Bayern goes, wait, a 20-year-old that we can buy? $20 million later, he's playing for Bayern 2 in the third Bundesliga. Outrageous. 200 bits. Thank you, Eric Mendez. Funny starting up again near me, so I think I should do five of those push-ups a day to start getting into shape. Eric Mendez doesn't need to do push-ups. He wakes up bronzed and chiseled like a Greek god. I wanted, I want something to do over the summer. Do I take over Ireland at the Euros or be petty and go to Copa America to end Lionel Scaloni's career because for some reason he despises me? Ireland for the Euros would be a lot of fun. Just saying. Ridiculously bad stonks. And then Namdi Collins being the center back who's like not actually very good at being a center back. He's a weird player. He reminds me of that other that other uh, young, strange named German center back. I think he's on Bayern at the start of the game. He's so fast, but you're like, can he learn how to play center back? The dude abides, no idea.
cool. Another guy that's getting away from us. That haven't been around for a while. What's going on in the save? Can see that viewership growing. You're gonna take over the world. I told you we were gonna take over the world, AJW. Thank you for the prime and thank you for the five months. Welcome back. Uh, so we are in Liga Nas in the save. We are currently in our first year in the top flight. So we did just get promoted from the second division and that we got promoted from the third division to the second division and now we're in Liga Nas and we're 10th out of 18 teams. We're coming off a huge win in our first clean sheet of the season. Yes, in January. Uh, but it was our first clean sheet of the season, so brag about it, we must. Uh, Simon Johnson, you are still bad. And we are still waiting to be able to... Oh my god, dude! I swear... On the entire nation of Macau, if I am not allowed to sign this person, I will wreak unholy havoc. Finish the negotiation and end the transfer embargo, so help me God or whatever deity you want to help me in this situation. Because there is a guy from Macau that I want to sign. He is he's machinistic. Or whatever. Machinese. Currently very happy I had not accepted to buy a new house and move. <laughs> Even Gary's excited about that, Ben Swansea. Some love to Ben Swansea for getting a new house. Let's go. But red, whiter, that's what's going on. We're still in the takeover in AJW, and it's oh, it's rough. But silky smooth, thank you for the prime. And coming back for a second month as part of the hammers. You're looking beautiful. Looking frisky. Dear FM gods! Mr. Yummy, thank you for the prime. Welcome to the Hammers. Make sure you get in the subscriber section of the Discord. Such a savage trial. For I know that for some ungodly reason, in every religion, the greatest believers are tested the most. But it really, it feels like it should be the other way around, but that, never mind. So, I hear you, FM gods. I receive your test and seek your wisdom. But please, I mean holy. Well, lads, I, I think that's enough fisting for today. received your trial and we have stayed faithful for we are here now Jula Toski, thank you for the twitch prime so FM gods grant us a new owner 
or keep us with Chin Shi. I honestly don't give a sh In the name of Eric Mendez, Johnny Cano, Joe Lewis, and Erling Holland, we pray. Splash with me, brothers. Amen. All right, boys. Well, Eric Mendez. Eric Mendez, he just pulled his calf muscle to make it there in time to be a saint for that prayer. End the... It, come on. Come on. They've heard our prayers, chat. They've heard our prayers. This is it. Do it to them. Do, how did everybody below us win? Seriously? I guess we just have to avoid the bottom three, but now we're like one point clear of 15th all of a sudden. Like the middle of the, middle of the table in this league is just packed with people. Everybody's winning. Tong Shun's about to get a spot because we are able to sell people, which is nice. Sheik Traore. The Portuguese Cup, which we're no longer in because we had to play sporting. Tough. What are we praying for? For the takeover bid that we've been under for nearly four months to end? Bong rip with the four months! <laughs> nice. Thank you for the prime. Been part of the hammers for some time now. Feel like we've come to know each other. Be friends. Get together, you know, and do something. If your new owner doesn't require you to sign Chinese players, do you still make that a challenge? Yeah, of course. The difference will be that I won't be required to sign a certain number of Chinese players to be able to sign anybody else. Uh, Traore, honestly, you've been a great servant of the club. Uh, I had a gr we had a great year with you playing. Um, that's about God it. Be merciful to our Zealand and let the sugar daddy come. Zian pray. Santamania, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime in the three months. Congrats on cooking your bacon and reaching that TTS. It worked! Prayers have been answered. The takeover is done. Forty thousand dollars into the club's coffers. <gasps> A new club vision. <gasps> yeah. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Four months. Who's the new owner? What's his name? Hey, what's your name? Owner loves the club. Got it. Got it. Uh, President Jose Afonso. All right, hip hip Jose. Board lift the transfer embargo. Well, let's get cracking then, baby. How many people did we lose? A few, but now we can offer trials to everybody that's left. Hasn't signed a new deal yet. Get in here, Macau Wong Sun Cow. Macau's finest. And then, of course, there are the people that their contracts are ending soon enough. 
And then there's the defaults, where we have Mosquito and Damien Beck, Emmanuel Matuda. All these guys are hopping in. Jeffrey Mawson we can bring on back. I love it. I love it, man. I'm so excited. <sighs> End of contract should be ending in the next six months. And then we go to our report ability. And so we have two 30-year-olds, Victor Garcia, a right back from Venezuela. We're not quite sure how good he is exactly, but we will finish the scout. And then Sean McGuire, our winger, striker, Irish guy from Preston North End. Probably good enough, right? Probably good enough. Um, 25-year-old. Any, any young guns around here like Luigi Everard? Well... He signed a contract with Napoli, so I think we're a little late to that party, don't you? Don't you think we're a little late? Can't win them all. Well, let's see how good these trialists are then. Now that we're able to get all of our trialists back on the back on the wagon. Uh, no, we lost one. We lost uh, not more than one. Isaac Amundsen has just flat out rejected the offer. Isaac, what is wrong with Portugal, dude? The weather's great like all year round. I don't understand. Oh, Mosquito, I gotta be honest. I really don't care. We already kind of knew we didn't want you. We had a contract in place to put you with the club and you just didn't take it. Or we just didn't continue it with you. Also, or I like... Oh, the guys at the under-23 championships in South America. That's why he's gone for so long. I just hate that the moment he joined the club, he's all of a sudden gone for that long. That's a pretty stupid reason. Thanks, Hammers. Just need to pull through the legals and sell my current house, but it's exciting. Much better area and a nice upgrade. I'm glad to hear it, though, Ben. Yes, the takeover just went through. We just were able to go and make our trial moves that we'd been waiting on. Oh, yeah. Wong San Cow. How much money does he want? Squad player contract? Um, how about impact sub? For that much money, chat? Kind of open for a little less, less than that, but he's like... I think he's better than Khan Seychelle. I do, but I think we've got to wait now. We've got to wait to see. We're not sure enough at that price. I right, can confidently get rid of this guy, Joseph Baffo. Maybe a little center back help about to show up. Jean Onana. What about Rivadero? This guy might be like the best option we actually get at this sort of thing. Marcos Rivadero. Onana's got embossed in aerial, technical, attacking, vision, speed, physical, defending, and mental. There's some survival mechanisms for Marcos Rivadero, but Onana stays on trial. Bruno Reyes. Welcome back. Pierre Larari. Well, vroom, vroom. Guerrero, Edwin Tavera. Nobody's outrageous. This guy's outrageously bad, but that doesn't count. Halik Ablahan is... I don't know about you, totally... I totally think he's reaching that potential. Mere moments away. Yeah, well, there's no revelations in that. Shojong. Very descriptive. Appreciate it. Hey, wait, we have no restrictions anymore. We don't have to sign trialists, dude. Open up the loan section. Look for superstars. We can get for, like, oh, well, he's...
like Jorge Luis, this guy worth jumping on for a couple hundred thousand. 19 year old Brazilian center back. Yo, I heard that. Kate's harp with the gifted sub after dropping a six months. I'm like, I love what I just realized. No more Chinese requirement. We just had to take over. The chess is still obviously not in it, but Kate Tarp, thank you for the giftedness all. Welcome to the hammers. Tarp also got to that silver bacon. Big day for Tarp. How does Gary feel? It's weird. I feel like he only has one emotion. You guys notice that? Weird. Fabian Nagara. He's huge and he's seems to be good. He's playing for a team that doesn't deserve him. They don't deserve him. I want the young superstars, chat. Jefferson Lopez. Didn't he already sign a deal somewhere? Yeah, we were in on the race for him, too. Don't want to sell. Well, that's not a surprise. Get like 340,000 in the budget, so we can't float like the insane, the, the, the big time purchases, but we can float some of them, like the Jorge Luis. The Jorge Luises of the world, or Baltazar. I don't even have to buy him. Can loan players it's like my brain is just opening back up to all the possibilities like all the different things that we can do we can loan players all of a sudden for literally the first time we can loan players Start here. Really? Nobody. Okay. Eighteen year old Uruguayan Ignacio Fletas. Like free loan or wow, you want the entire one point five million wage. It's okay. Find the ones we can float. Yeah, problem is it's January. You're not going to... Did this say Zavi Simmons? Wait a second. That's different. That's Xavier Simmons. I was like, wait. Wait. Very funny. Very funny. Okay, bright... Uh, pff. Very funny, chat. Hello there, Z. Listen to the and loved the 20 Good Minutes podcast. Is there a set date for releases? Tomorrow. Normally it's Wednesday, but uh, we got it in a little late today, and I was busy this morning, didn't get it uploaded, so it goes up tomorrow morning. Wednesday or Thursday morning uh, is when 20 Good Minutes goes up. Yeah, call. I'm, I'm on the phone calling literally everybody. Hello. <clears throat> Hello? It's Oriental Dragon, just curious. Uh, do you have, I, I know you probably loaned everybody out already. Like we get, that's kind of the point, but uh, for the development's sake. Okay, I guess I don't have a manager. Paul Robinson, 20 year old Irish center back. It's capable enough. How much is the loan? Full wage? Maybe a trial. If you could do a one-week trial to see if we want to loan him in, that'd be great. Mikey Johnston. Wow, that dude's getting paid. You know what that means? Way too good for us. You know what that means? We want him. It's gross.
gross. I don't want to do that. Hey, Arsenal, how you doing? Paul Lozano. Let's see, there's no way we're going to be able to finagle this guy. So they want full wage, which we can't do. Pedro Palacio. God, the amount of money they're on is insane. They want the full two million for Paradella, too. James Clayton. This dude's got four he's got fourteen appearances for the team. Be nuts. Fine, I'll look at the Brighton team. Fine. Twenty good minutes ever be actually be twenty good minutes. <laughs> will it ever actually be twenty minutes long? No, probably not. It will probably never be twenty minutes long. A senior affiliate would it would be a nice call. It is a very good call. Malachi Mackey. I kind of dig it. The work rate's fun. Andrew Moran. Ooh. Ooh. He's a player, Chad. Look at that athleticism, the dribbling, the off ball, the vision. His passing isn't great, but he sees, he runs with his head up, Chad. At Plagio of Minnesota United, another safe cell box to box mid. It's good to know. Lewis Buckley with the three months to the Twitch Prime. I see you. I see you. Rafi boy, what's up? <sighs> like his wage isn't that high. He's a toolsy player. We're going to go trial. See if we see if we can get that Sungi. Sungui. Antef Sungui. What? I need another center. I, we, we're very aware of the fact that my defense is just bad, so... He's been at Brighton the whole time. He's just done some weird loan moves. Played 44 games in the championship last season, which is good enough for me. Uh, hopefully you guys are accepting of these trials. Kind of hit or miss on that sort of thing. B. O'Connor. Wage a little high for me. Appreciate it, though. Dude's wage is nutty for this division. And how does he have no appearances? Benfica first team, he's 19. He's clearly an athlete who can move the ball pretty well, works hard, has decent technique, not bad in the air. Hey, you. Trial it is. Giallo's injured, so we're not going to be able to work out that deal right now. Garrison Souza. Rafael Brito. And then we've got Ronaldo Camara. Was also working through a torn abdominal muscle, but would be so far and away the best player on this team. 
Um, you take this deal, right? Don't you? Don't you take this deal? This guy's a beast. Just got here. Is the season over? No. We are in January. We're in the January window. Lead table's okay. We are, uh, we're right in the middle of it. It's like super smack even all through these teams. And we're, we're right in the middle of it. Comfortably above the fray for now. Playing a good, you know, good set of matches. We got a match in hand on like everybody below us. Except for Portable Nints. No chance he accepts that, right? Wow, he looks... He just looks so talented. Well, this guy's got a boatload of Benfica appearances. He would be the guy that we would want. Oh, dude, the fees are so beefy. Over 100,000 in fees to get him in? No, thank you. I'm surprised Porto doesn't have, like, better people out in this like Rodrigo Valente is pretty good but he's not great Alvaro Gregorio why well, I, I don't think I can loan yeah they require like too much money I can't I cannot do the deal Let's just see if any of these get accepted. We've had our look around. Honestly, Sporting probably has got some people that we could work with, even though the team seems to be in the dumps a little bit. Oh, they're seriously undervalued. Or just lower value because they're not as good. The Sporting, for whatever reason, is not as good. All right, let's see on those offers. I want to try and make some moves that bolster this team and give us a run at European places because I feel like if we get the right loans, of course, inside a viable option, uh, yeah, if they're, oh, if they're overloading on the wings, you try and steer the wings inside. You Any any instance where you'd want to steer some people inside so you don't have to, oh, you have to deal with an overload in the channel. That's more rare than forcing people outside, yeah. Final year of Holland's contract. Can't negotiate since I rejected bids from PSG, etc. a year ago. Do I offer him out to get the money? I won the league the past year, but it's now July and still no progress. So you have one year left? Yeah, if you're in the transfer window with a year left, like at this time next year, you're going to lose him, then yeah, offer him out. recommended somebody named Mbappe. I don't know. Do you think there could be something to that guy? Seems unlikely, right? And it's a funny name. And if we know anything about the sport, you gotta, if your name is too funny, it's just not going to work. Right, Mohammed set for his loan. Looks like all those bids were rejected. Overly optimistic, or no, some of them were accepted. Hey, Gerson Sousa, that was a good one. Ronaldo Camara rejected it, but everybody else is in. Cool, we're going to be able to get a feel for how good these guys are before we go for a uh, for a trial, except for Ronaldo Camara, who I guess we will just put on the top of the scouting pile. Just fine, we've steadily been working our way down from 120-something. 
to whatever we're at. Why do you bounce back to the top the first time? There you go. Ronaldo Kamara. Let's see. Let's just see. Let's just see, right? What could possibly be the harm in just having a little look? This is big. One of these guys is a superstar, then we're just going to do the loan immediately. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, bud. I saw looking at the schedule for uh, for tomorrow and Friday. It is going to be a little different, chap. The schedule for tomorrow and Friday is going to be a little different. I have a game that I'm calling starting at 1 on Friday, which is obviously right when I'd normally want to be streaming. The stream times are supposed to be fine because the games are supposed to be at night, but COVID, right? So, fun. Uh, let's look up Georgius while we talk about this because all of these guys have just rejected our offers. Georgius Mikatadze, still at Mets. Hasn't made his moves, but has. Oh, he's got a transfer signed and sealed and delivered. He's going to Stade Brestois at the end of the season because he got one regular season and then he fell back out of the first team. He got a regular season on loan in the Belgian Pro League. And uh, just never got traction. Doesn't seem to be a league all level player. So he's headed to Stade Brestois to try and kind of get it back. I guess they just got relegated. So they're looking to pick up a player who knows League Dua. It's going to be able to get playing time there and hopefully try and get another team promoted. But bit of a weird career for Georgius Mekatadzi. Work rate's bad. Technique is bad. Paul Robinson's a bit of a letdown. Shaw Resende. just looks good, doesn't he? Looks like he's got game. He has the stuff in the important areas that makes him a difference maker. But I have a problem loaning in a forward when we've got that other forward that we like. I would want to go grab somebody who can play in the midfield, not like a, a Gerson Souza who's able to do the same thing Kansa Shao does, but just able to do it better. To be honest, Andrew Moran probably wasn't the guy. Sungui feels like he could be, though. Problem is, he's a ton of money to loan in. He made two Premier League appearances this year. I mean, that is a level that I could hope to dream of, is players that could get into a Premier League team when I'm not managing them and selecting them. Fine, what is it? 60% at 339. Which wage budget room are we working with? I feel like it's 400,000 or something. If I slide everything over to the wage budget, we're working with about 500,000 in the wage budget, which means we would not be able to get him and Camera. But don't we need help on defense? Like, Sungui would take over on the right defensive spot, and Key and Harry's would be on the left defensive spot, and Sungui would be able to cover better than Maglor can cover, and Caro gets, like, shifted out of the team. Right. But you now where we're at. You were saying about the schedule. Thank you, Pulse. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have no idea. Because I have... They're like, oh, when do you want to do the production meeting? And everybody's... The, the coach is like, oh, we'll do it on 10.30. 10.30 in the morning on Thursday. And everybody's like, cool, I can do that. And I'm like... I realize for most people, 10.30 in the morning on a Thursday is pretty benign. But for me, that's also in the middle of a stream. So I have a production meeting at 10.30 in the morning on Thursday. I've got a game right in the middle of when we're supposed to stream on Friday. Right? I got two games on Saturday, one game on Sunday. So when are you going to stream? I don't know. The plan, as it stands, is to just kind of do Thursday and Friday evening. Like, literally after the game on Friday. Just, you know, after the game on Friday, come back, fire up the stream, have a Friday night stream, grab a beer. Right? Or, not or, and kind of do the same thing on Thursday. Like, get out of get out of studio at 5, eat, get back, start up a stream at 5.30 or 6, and then, you know, stream for three, four hours from there.
No, I wouldn't. These aren't intramural. God, I wouldn't like. I would. I wouldn't play intramural and like you know like some men's league and, and ruin my no these are like games i'm broadcasting you know what i mean hello zealand you seem to be very good knowledge of football so just wondering if you picked that all up from fm i watch games too but i'd say most m more of it than most people i pick up from fm we can have athletic one and tef sungui on loan Honestly, we could just get Sungui and start him in Maglor and literally just play like a super high line because nobody can run past us. That'd be kind of hilarious. But let's see. Um... Let's see if our boy Ronaldo Kamara, who is just an outrageous midfielder. Let's see if he can, well, do anything outside of just be fast. He's got great vision, but his passing is meh. Anyways, the point is, let's see if he wants to play for us. If he doesn't want to play for us, then I think we go for the center back, and that's like our big loan acquisition in January. It's one of those two guys. Because I think center back or central midfielder are the two places that we could really make... We really make something of this. Wow, now, we, now that we can sign people, this completely changes the way that we approach this uh this entire bit like in scouting we're gonna switch it up once we get out of this transfer window omar madani it's a syrian but he's on a month to month and apparently is good enough for us to like think about him oh we don't do that anymore we can throw this just past the point of his contract expiration and we will be okay yoros jurjevic let's go ahead and get a scout on him and get a scout on that guy as well A football manager saint in the flesh, Juan Chavera. All right, Duchess, catch him. The takeover is done, yes. A living, breathing saint, Juan Chavera. 32. Signing up with Atletico Nacional, one of the best outfits in Colombia, if not the best. A living, breathing god. It is very hard to get on this list. Juan Schwer is on this list for literally one play. A quadruple save, the likes of which I have never seen before or since that got him immediately knighted. He is the only opponent to ever be crowned a football manager saint. And that is your Hall of Saints and stuff lore for the day. Juan Chavera. A football manager saint, a living and breathing legend. That was an opponent on the Genetto save. Still the only opponent that has ever been crowned for making a quadruple save to win his team the game. Paulo Victor. Hey, he's an enganch, and he's not actually slow, which is weird. I feel uncomfortable in this man's presence. It's kind of want Kamara to decide who he wants to play for at this point. Hey, uh, your training has been excellent. If only you could actually develop something other than pure nitroglycerin speed. I'd be really excited. Uh, Castellanos, are you ready to lace him up? Nope, still hurt. Cool, 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 cool. Harp, you are up.
Butcher and Hamshik and Diaz and Ishtiwi and Thiago Noose because the other guy who we signed to improve our team is also not available. I love it. He's playing internationally. Do, 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 do. Is it two legs or one leg in this League Cup? Yeah, but like I, I am doing the Virginia games virtually, but the TV, it's like multiple feeds. It's not just the TV feed. Do you like see all the cameras at the same time? I'm doing Syracuse volleyball on Friday, then Virginia on Saturday and Sunday, uh, softball and then men's soccer through the weekend. The legs between the player make a, the players make a big difference. It's just like a team cohesion boost, like a higher team cohesion between those players. Most people have two legs, though. Sounds like the type of joke I would make. So now we are WDC. We're not friends anymore. I feel like you're my thunder. It's been swiped. We have a missing persons report for my thunder. It's been stolen. Anybody able to confirm what happened with the takeover? We got an injection of $40,000 and there is nothing in our club culture all of a sudden after we had like an incredibly stacked club culture. Exciting time for the fans as much as anything. Keen to build a re new relationship with the people running the club. Uh, you're wanting to avenge the outcome the last time we played. They we're itching to set the record straight. Uh, I'm not making predictions. G given how well Oriental Dragon played against Santa Clara, I'm upbeat about our chances of a repeat performance after that. Can Kean Harris handle the current scrutiny of his performance? He scored two goals. He had a brace in a recent match. I guess that means that's what they're saying. Ardor of Sepian continues to play well at Marens. Happy to see him putting the building blocks in place. I am already anticipating the stability answer after that. Uh, we are stockpiling players. Uh, we're giving them a fantastic opportunity. We're, we're not. We don't have the money to actually stockpile players. Just because we've timed our signings on end of contract players that have the off chance of being a decent first team player for us does not mean we are stockpiling. Stop. Okay. Okay, man. Stockpiling is a little strong. How do you stop conceding late goals? Lower your tempo, shorten your passing, increase your time wasting when you get into the latter stages of a match. Bring your lines back. Reduce the intensity of your roles, the mentality of your roles. So if you have attacking wingers, put them on support. It allows them to recover more defensively late, which is obviously something that you're looking for them to be able to do. Does Clive ever accidentally make an appearance during your soccer broadcast? No, uh, it's at least for me. I mean, some people, maybe it's not the case, but I'm able to stay in whatever accent I want to stay in. Oh, Castellanos isn't available because he returned from injury and went to play for the Columbia U-20s in this godforsaken tournament that's robbing me of my two best players. The entire month of January, we've, we've, we've still never put the frickin' striker on the field. Why do we have two matches in hand? Whatever. How? How, how do we have two matches in hand? We're not the only thing we're in is the League Cup, and everybody was in the League Cup until this match against Sporting. I don't understand. I don't like being 13th when we should be higher than that. It doesn't make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Hey, Z, not sure if you remember, but the player I have who has great passing vision and technique is in such a bad run of form, and I've already talked to him about it multiple times, but nothing is changing, and he tips. Rotate him. Maybe he's jaded or a little fatigued, rest him for two games and put him back out there, kind of reset the mentality. That always helps. Then you give another guy a chance to show that they're capable of doing something good. And Apiel are looking to find a loan deal for Santiago Gioria. Well, let's see. Make the loan approach. Now I'm looking for 100%. Thanks for playing. Antonio Abreu. I'm not going to defend that. They can sign him on an end of contract for free. He's not showing any significant improvement. And even if he has that actual potential, he's not going to reach. He's not going to reach it. What's up, Diggy Dylan? How you doing? Tim Sasky. Thank you for the raid, man. Hope you had a good stream. 
We got deals? Yeah, we got deals. Portuguese second league deals, you know? And third division deals. Actually, you know what? We're... Does the money really make that much of a difference? No, it doesn't make that much of a difference. Reject all unrespondeds. You get a choice between the second division or the third division. And he rejected the offer. Guarantee you the guy at Brighton does the same, but we're willing to put in the offer. Hello? 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 Uh, yes, I'd be interested in a loan deal, please, if you'd want to come play for Oriental Dragon. I'd be very excited. Someone's like doing construction upstairs. Can you hear that? Stacy! She's back. She can't touch the internet anymore, so now she's losing her mind about something else. <laughs> Stacy's. I never please him, you know. <clears throat> Room service. Dominic Yunkov, Bulgarian attacking midfielder. Fun. Let's go, lads. Might be missing our two best players, but we will play well together as a team. We owe them. Honestly, we do. Here we go. At Braga. We just had, we're coming off a huge win against Santa Clara, who's second in the league table at the moment. A mammoth 3-0 win and clean sheet to go along with it. <sighs> Come on, boys. We've got all those matches in hand on all these teams ahead of us. Maybe this is one of them. Let's go, boys. Come on now. Make a play on the ball. Here we go. Here we go. Make a play on the ball. Oh, Kabori. He's flopping. He's flopping. It's ridiculous. Away! Find if you sing it, it's most effective for them to hear. Away! Well. God, it's a contested header. Except it wasn't. Nobody actually contested him at all. He just was able to steer the ball into the corner. Forty-five seconds into the game, it's just you know, center backs milling about, doing nothing in particular. Key and Harry's what, couldn't even be bothered. Key and Harry's. Wow, Pinto, that was an insane bit of hustle. Oh, ni nice, nice. Nice. We got both fullbacks on one side. Love it. Because the corner. Harup! That drag back, that's how he scores his goals right there. He just smacks it from that position. Any news on the new owner? Yes. Our club has officially been purchased by a local Portuguese investor. <sighs> Seem to be all over it, so... Oh, Harup, cheeky ball. Pinto with the right foot. That's a rarity. Okay, Kian.
cannot lose that if you go for it. Come on, Maglor. You are... He's so fast, but a strong breeze just cut off his path and he wasn't able to recover his position. What a massive save by Kieran O'Hara to keep it level. Well, not level, but like where we were. Down one to this team. Not a good first 10 minutes, despite the fact that we've had more highlights than them. Not that that is any sort of metric, but the flow of the game hasn't been unkind. Oh, oh. Ah. That was a good pass from Hamshik. He's in. God, he's the creativity of a... He, he has the creativity of a ripe grapefruit, dude. That's the one thing you're unable to do. If you try and dribble by him and you just can't, I'll go, ah, oh, great defense. You know? But just running straight and shooting. He can't do that. Honestly, I'm going to really enjoy the day. If this was Madrid again, and I think it... No, this was Maglor. Goodness gracious, Maglor. Oh, it's like he's not even there. He didn't even slow him down. Do I have to put Caro back in? Like, is that where we're at? That was terrible. You won the starting job because I didn't notice you. You cleaned things up. Now you look like a fool. Nice work by Ishtiwi. It's good spots to be in. This is good work from our offense here. Ishtiwi's got a, he's got a spot. He's got Har up. We've got to score in that spot. Penalty. You can't tell me you didn't pull him back. I mean, you could say it. Because <sighs> he did pull him back. Gave him that little tug tug. Oh, thank goodness somebody was offside because that was way too easy. He's got a through ball. He's going to get the ball back. Please pass. Draw a penalty. Something. Stand there, just stay on the ball. Is he on? Oh my goodness. Maglor is single-handedly trying to... Yeah, I know. He scored. After the... <laughs> the whistle. Oh, Maglor is just trying to lose his entire starting job in one day. He's determined. He's like, whoa, man, I have been playing far too much lately. Now we're just giving the ball away completely needlessly, Pinto. Where are we, dude? The ball gets knocked down. You're the fastest guy in the field. Just stop running. And we still out XG'd them. them we're just losing to them come on guys we're right in this match we just can't score to save our lives we're getting bu like bullied really bullied ugly 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 yet somehow 
statistically even match. Thank you, Maglor. That's like using your speed for good, your powers for good, the forces of good. It's Tiwi. Thank you. Here we go. Come on. Come on, chat. That's it. We look dazed and confused. Yeah. We bring the line back, able to carry the ball up. Tunesi scores another one, bags it. I'm like, what would you guys change? If you're me, we're in this together. What would you guys change? So I'm sitting here like, God, we're around it. What do we need to switch about that defense? Oh, Maglor, go to the right. Oh, this is going to work out. He's God, he got the shot off. Needed some hook. I would not concede. What other defenders do you have available? Jose Antonio Caro is the only other one that is like at this appropriate level. And maybe Felix Madhouse is at this level and I haven't given him a chance, but i he's never been a starter. He wasn't in the lower leagues. I got a hard time believing he can win the spot now. Oh yeah, here we go. Ishtiwi. Slow down. Slow down. Chill. Chill. I loved that. I, I, I love that. That's what I wanted him to do. There just wasn't anybody there. Oh no, he's off. God. Braga, you have been given a gift. You have been given a gift. Because we, on a normal day, look like we could be able to beat you. But we're just staying on it. Everybody, everybody always, oh, go super defensive. Nah, I'm good. Good block, good clear, Tong. Come on, guys. Scrap out a chance here. We should make some subs. We should make some subs. We, we made the one. We should make some... Just just some fresh leg subs. Butcher, get him off. Kyoza, uh, advanced playmaker on support. Um, Julian Ramirez for Tiago News. Just run him as an advanced playmaker to put the pressure on the back line and somebody that can physically score goals. Okay. <clears throat> We needed legs in the midfield because they got a lot of space to cover. We need the legs up top. Uh, encourage. Come on, boys. Let's try and create some highlight here at the end. Like we mean it now. Like we mean it. Man. I'm not happy. I can come into the locker room and say I'm not happy with that result. I thought we, we, we were better than that. We were better than that. The second half was really good. We were better than that. Yeah, Pincha made things dif more difficult for his teammates out there today. Um, well, hopefully that guy accepts that bid because, yeah, we we could use it. Why are you circulating your client's name? He's on trial at another club. Okay, take it out of the scouting center, please. Branimir Kaleka, he's a center back that looks like he could actually be pretty good. Old Gamboa. Now I have a soft spot for dudes at Janeros, but I don't know if that's the one we want. Pacome Zuzwa. Zuzwa. 
Joey Palapesi. It's a pretty sick name, honestly. Carlos Bajorquez. Hey, you want to keep your options open? Okay, we'll check. We'll we'll check in a month. We'll see how open you want your options to be in a month, huh, man? Amateur contract in France. Honestly, we're gonna find one of these guys. Avenger Pinto suspended for a match. I know. And guess what? My other left back is on international duty perpetually. So we are without a trusted left back. We have to go with Tong Shun, who's literally a right back playing on the left. A defeat is still a defeat. Another game and Noose has failed to find the net. Is it a case of him simply trying too hard? Shouldn't be judged just on goals. I mean, he's had some good games, his ability to pick the ball up and run, but he's not been great. Uh, Macedo was good. <sighs> Using the officials as an excuse is lazy. Dong De is poor form. That's why we sent him on loan so he could get better. Rumors are you're still in the market for another player. I'm not talking transfers today. You're clearly like keeping your cards close to your vest. The, the Dragon supporters want an answer. You've answered your own question. I like to keep my cards close to my vest. Ha! Mental jujitsu. Figure that one out. like to keep my cards close to my vest. Right. Yeah, this sporting one's the semifinal. We need to figure out if this is a second leg. There's like... I don't think there's a second leg. I think it's just winner qualifies for the final. Okay. Yeah, big match then. We gotta, we gotta cheese this. Honestly, it's not like sporting's that much better than us to begin with. Big chance in the Robum Wapelia Cup. To make a difference out there, chap. Impact the lives of so many. Oh, and Harry's and Pete. Harry's and Pete, so honestly, if they're both going to be serving suspensions, it's not a bad time for them to be serving them. Felix Madhouse. There he is. Tong Shun, welcome to left back. Have any fullbacks left? Nope. We got Sandro Costa, club captain and irregular first team player. And then the other wing has to be our other hot prospect. But, it, you know, he's nowhere near as good as Wopelier. I think that's where most of this comes from. Robin Wopelier is just such a stud. with the five gifted subs going out there to make five people's days making them a part of the hammers needy big juicy lou gohaku toffee and cnx tuesday welcome to the hammers why not why will pillier not play league games but, you know he's just he's such a good player right he's so elite we just don't think it would be fair to the league it simply wouldn't be fair this one's for Devil Evil with the five gifteds. Thank you, man. I'm gonna rest Butcher. I'm gonna go Joka. Box to box. He can do it. I signed him as a guy that could do it. I just haven't used him in that capacity before. Homshik doesn't run anyways, so it doesn't matter. He'll be fine. Tong Shun's running an inverted wingback scheme off the side of Wopelia. Yeah, we're easy. We're set up. This is what it's all about. Missing two guys on the left side of the defense. We're missing our starting left back, and now our backup left back, Shalpinto's out. Key and Harry's on accumulation, and we'll do it anyways. You know, we'll do it anyways. 
Where did O'Hara come from? I came in through the trials. We had a bunch of guys into contract. We were ready to rock, ready to roll. Does the merch come with glorious chest hair demonstrated in the video? Nah. It's soft, though. So you don't know what I'm talking about exactly. Of course, the shirts are soft. Goodness, Saida Rob's asking for a ton of money now that he's playing in Spain. Woo. France. He's in France. Countries are hard. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. Santa Clara. Hello. What's up? Laying the wood. If we can win, like, our next league game, we jump up to, like, 10th from 14th. Good crowd expected. Hey, yeah. 40,500 tickets expected to be sold. That has definitely got to be the biggest crowd we've ever played in front of. We've lost the last three matches against Sporting. I don't know. Because they're, like, a huge club. Many times the size of our club. When you get to this stage, you can't help but dream of the final and potentially winning it. Uh, how excited are the players? We're in this game to experience moments like this. We'd be looking for more experienced players to help the younger ones. Always expect the old, Who exactly is an experienced player on my team? Uh, I'm not going to reveal my plans before the match, though, on potential rotation. What I can say is that we are very excited and all-in on this League Cup run. We know what this could mean for us as a club of, of this stature to be able to make a move in the League Cup like this. <sighs> Rumor has it that Zeeland's fleeces are, rumen, are woven with 50% authentic chest hair. Cannot confirm or deny. Can confirm, though. Isn't that how that works? All in on defeat, brah. Bruh. Yes, Goofy Goober, the takeover has happened. It happened just before the last match. Now we're ready, ready to let him go. Pachas Ferreira want Savia Garon. Actually, should go with a with a loan offer out for Shinju. Stay awesome, man. Always, my brother. Super fly high. Thank you for the three months in the Twitch Prime and being part of an elite online gaming community. Non-believers unite. Yo, we got people betting against us all over the place. It's time to make time to make it happen. Like giving me a loan fee too. Fourth division in Portugal. He's a regular. Yeah. <laughs> He's a regular starter in the fourth division of Portugal. Harup is playing. I don't care if he picked up a knock. Sucks. You're not good enough. Santiago Brunelli. Well, we'll find out how good you are when we give you a trial in five months. A good replacing, a, a good replacement for the aging Mara Kamshik. Shojong, why? Well, come on. Your rating didn't go down on him that much. He still would be the best player on our team. Should be on Chinese babes indefinitely. I must have removed him in a fit of anxiety and frustration. William Agata is on a month to month, but when they're on a month to month like that, they're getting paid a boatload of money. That's the reason nobody. Whoa! Wow! <laughs> New owner's not that rich, but you know who is? Nick the Bull. 10 gifted subs from Nick the Bull. We've got Logo File, Woka Cola, Ohio. Yo, Frank. Back at it, Nocturno, Explosion, EX, or EC1S, John Mock, Marshmallow, Jordan the Fraud, and Squibird. Welcome to the Hammers. Big, fat, 10 gifted subs from Nick the Bull. Welcome to the Hammers. Lads. It's already on the short list. Boo! The lads. The lads are in the Hammers. Moreno. Shame. 
about a 20 year old Voldemar. Voldemort, that you? Hey, could have good potential. Never know, maybe he's just taking forever to reach it. Throw you the throw the game and I'll cut you in on the big 20 points. You got it. Word hat word on the street is that he's 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 into the wagering himself. Word on the street is he's gotten himself mixed up in a little wagering. It's a little dicey, chat. That's a little weird. Uh definitely a little strange. Yeah. Up the horns. What's up, man? Mendez in goal. Like men yeah, but Eric Mendez. Honestly, Eric Mendez, he's a he's a he's a saint of football manager. He'll probably he'll go out there and make a couple of big saves. Ye Ben. This dude, to his credit, he's still terrible. Wants a permanent move away from the club. Like, he's going to get it. He realizes that, right? His contract is expiring soon. He's going to be able to leave the club and go wherever the heck he wants to go. Um. Hello. I agree with you. Getting the playing time I deserve. Yeah, man. 32-year-old. Got you for your work rate. You were decent the first year we had you. Second year we've had you. It's a, it's a no. It's deterioration. It's a falling out of the team. It's a, it's a sadness for you, really. Sad that you just weren't able to be the person we thought you could be. I followed to sweeten the deal. Oh, yeah. Oh. Win this match and make chat lose all their points. For doubting that I would get to the final of the League Cup. You all shall pay! Every one of you. I love that the beard is back. Everything's better than the beard. Oh, you better love it. It's going away tomorrow. We're losing the beard tomorrow. Yeah, I think I can go ahead and announce that. I might, we might do a ping, a little schedule change, say, hey, evening streams the next two days. Oh, oh, I'm not. Come on. You want me to pay part of his wage? Bruh. That's not how this works. Selling team salary contribution, get it out of here. Get that out of here. That's like literally almost all of his wage. I'd rather have the player. Good. Now let's see if you can negotiate a deal. How bad do you want to leave, Marcos? You're going to have to take a pay cut. So, looks like Colombia is just not losing in this. Colombia is slant. Well, they just started playing. Oh my god, dude. They need those guys back. Treading water without them. What was the, fit the uh, fitness report? Oh, he wasn't even on it. Harp wasn't even on it. Oh, come on. You really gonna bet against this, chat? With our two youth team wingers? One being, of course, the Wolpesi. Wolpelier. This is, after all, the Rob Wolpelier Memorial Cup. Nah, this is semi-final. Kieran O'Hara getting goal. Madrid, McGlore, Caro, Tongshun. This is a tough, pretty watered-down team, Chet. It's a tough, pretty watered-down team. We make our plays. Maintain possession. Do our thing. Play our game. The name instills fear, it does.
times as me. Come on. I have faith in you, Robin. He doesn't even care he's locked in. He knows he's locked in. Doesn't even care. He's ready to roll. into it tong shun he's been sitting in the corner saying baby i can be your chinese messy well peely oh god about to lift the roof off this place and a boy merrick set the tone set the tone merrick GPS. We have the technology. I can get you the money. I, I don't... What is... Dude! I didn't forget the cup keeper. He's coming back from an injury. He's oranged out on the fitness. I didn't want to play him. Kieran, that's... What? Why? That was fine. That was all... What a touch. By Rob him. Hamshik, Harup, Noos, Garen. We are there. What defensive play from Karo. Wow. Harup, Noos, love it. Good. Joka, Harup, Tong Shun. Joka, he's got him. Carol! Literally allergic to making that tackle. We just go sliding away. Kieran Un. It's a frustrating team to watch because you know we're just making, we just make dumb mental errors. I just don't think we're smart enough. Come on, Joka, take your time. And we play it off Noose. Noose gets the ball wide. We've got the dynamic, explosive playmaker, Robin Wapelier. He makes a fool out of Gonzalo Plata. Noose. I think we're playing that poorly. It was just Kieran O'Hara leaving his battle station for no reason. Just keep ourselves in this game. We're in front of a huge crowd. Keep ourselves in this game. Hamshik. Maglor, let's go! Up the freaking dragons, man. The polarizing center back Maglor right at him. Another. Give me another one. Give him another one. Amshik. Wopelia. There you go. Great creativity. Tiago News. Ever see him when his game's on? Oh, Johan Madrid. Stepping out. Here come the lads. 
Garaw needs to get a move on somewhere. He's right in that space. All right, Joka keeps sitting up in these pockets of space, which is nice. Garaw, he's got pace. He actually has legitimate pace. Just isn't smart enough to use it all of the time. He'll use it sometimes. Oh, Maglor, he did enough. He might not have made the play, but he did enough to make that shot very difficult to score. Yes, come on, lads. That's brilliant stuff. It's a cup semifinal against Sporting. We're tied at halftime and we deserve to be so. We're playing well, let's go. Make dumb mistakes, we dig our way out of it. We play we play our brand of ball here. This game is slow, there's not a lot of openings in it. Oh, great, we could totally afford that, couldn't we? Well, now we have no influence outside of Garan over here. So we'll just go wing. problem so we uh we're playing like five or six guys that don't normally play for us at this point have you on madrid going down uh no thank you o'hara here maglor left it look at the he's got a brain okay jc thank you for the tier one by the way we've been so locked in on this match welcome to the hammers my dude i appreciate it oh well pelia wins the ball back it's joker that makes the mistake we're there got an hour and a half to set up behind that shot. Come on, lads. Stay committed. Stay working hard. Attaboy, Hamshik. Noose. Got to get it off to a, a, somebody who's a runner. Garon's a runner. Oh, yeah, Garon. He's going to slow down, and then we get a wall of like four or five people that show up, and now we're in business. Oh, Hamshik, Garaw, Harup. Garaw is having himself a possession right now. Joka, Wopelie. Stop it, dude. Stop it. A little flare in the stands. Those Oriental Dragon fans lose in their mind. Harup's bleeding. We got Lucas Gioza. Hongshun's got a pretty good weak foot. I think we need a little more influence outside of Wopelia, so we're going to flip him to the outside now. As cute as this knocking the ball around is with that outnumberedness that we create in the midfield with the inverted. Oh, no. That's what we need to do. Let's go. We got a highlight right off the drop. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. We can get another one. We've looked capable. Come on, Caro. Play with Hamshik there. Play with Hamshik there.
Denise would have saved that. Dude, that's their problem. We've not we have not played Denise nearly enough. Thank goodness he's blind, because that was open. Is he on side really? That is very close. That is very close. Given up an entire XG in the last 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Nice. Nice shot, Bruno. Feel really good about yourself. I'm going to bully this guy. <sighs> mm, bring it down. Come on, you geriatric, mohawked, glorious. I don't have an ending word here. I'm just kind of going. We're just going adjectives until we run out. God, he's so slow, though. This was not a good idea for the um, the mentality of the team. This won't help the mentality of the team. I should have packed it in after the last goal because the odds were much higher that they would be able to uh, to just kind of avalanche us here. But uh, for about 65 minutes, we played a really good game and uh, I cost the team a lot more respect than they deserve to lose in this game with uh, the the that last goal, really. Yeah, so it was like divergence. It was my bad. We went for it a lot. We ended up giving up some late goals. That hurts you in the public eye. That's, you know, but that's my bad. That's my bad. We made it to the semifinal of the Wapelier Cup, chat. And that's that's all we could have hoped to do. It's all we could have expected. I'm sorry for the people to bet on it. I'll let you down. <sighs> Maybe gave up three goals in the last... Uh, 16 minutes of the match so all right well we are in 14th but we are also match in hand on uh all the buddies in front of us sporting is in 10th for all the you know like look at that if we win the two matches we actually can jump all the way over chavez and boa vista and weird league table we're definitely better than where we are in that moment in that spot twisted ankle and we got 242,000 for our run to the cup semifinals. so that's not in easily ignored amount of money that we've just intaken. Look it up on Nathan Wood. You got it. Nathan Wood. He's at Birmingham City. He's made a move. 5.5 million from Middlesbrough after they got relegated to League One. Uh, he was a regular player in the championship the year they got relegated, then a regular player in League One, and then back up to the championship to be a regular player with Birmingham City. So Nathan Wood having himself uh, honestly pretty good Pretty good career. He's getting a ton of matches in. He's still only 22 years of age. Obviously a regular starter at the championship level for a long time and a really a freaking good athlete, man. A good athlete. That's what I wanted to get. What's up, guys? Uh, first question, Nuno Silva. Always the Silvas. Defeat for your side since you out of the competition. Uh, no easy game these days and certainly rings true for this competition. We stood a good chance of winning. I mean, I thought we did. Dream run is over. Players worked hard, performed admirably. There's no shame in this defeat, though, that's for sure. Uh, Guillerme is just, I mean, he's worth more than my entire team put together. So I'd love to have him on my team. I think we made it easy for him today, though. Declaration of interest in Edgar Suniga. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. No, I'm not going to comment. I'm not going to comment on that. I think we're a better team now than when we started the journey in the League Cup. 
I do believe that. We gutted it out. We had that late 90th minute winner to get us into the semifinals, so we've got to be happy with that. Um, Johan Madrid being out hurts. We're going to be really aggressively thin at fullback. Uh, at least we, we get Chopinto back. All right, but Tong Shun is literally just moving from one side to the other to take the field, and then Kean Harry's is back and drop Madhouse, go with Caro. Caro goes in for McGlore because all of a sudden McGlore is not playing particularly well. Yeah, it was a shot to the club atmosphere for sure. A shot to the club atmosphere for sure. Robin Wapelia goes into the closet until the next League Cup. Hopefully next year he'll get to become the champion that we all know that he is. I just love history, especially Roman history. One of the most intriguing figures among many was of course Emperor Augustus, who styled himself Princeps or Primus in Terpairs. Speaking of Primus, any Twitch Primes in the chat for our boy Zealand? <laughs> Look, but thank you so much for the $5 donation. The history lesson and the plug to steal money from Jeff Bezos. And if you hear that right now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have no idea what he's talking about, we'll look at Joe Hugel in a second. If you go to Twitch Prime, uh, it, it, you can you can spend five dollars to Jeff Bezos money. So let's go on to uh, who am I not subbed on? I'm not subbed to work the space. So let, if you click the uh, subscribe button and you scroll down, there is a free sub right here, a free subscription with Twitch Prime. That is $5 if you do not spend. Russo gets it. Russo gets it. Wacko gets it. That's what I'm talking about with the Twitch Primes. That's $10 to Jeff Bezos money right there. You can spend it here. You can spend it somewhere else. Whoever you feel deserves $10 or $5 of Jeff Bezos money, right? You go ahead and click that button. Boom. It's that easy. All of a sudden, you're subbed. That's it. It'll go through in a second. Yeah, there we go. Now I, I have I have subscribed. Let me let me share my two month. Yeah, boom, and it's just that easy. You click the free subscription, you send it through whatever person that you want. Look at me throwing that cash around. You know what's up? That's what's up. Any person that you want, just spend Jeff Bezos money somewhere because there are millions of dollars in Twitch Primes that go unspent every month. We cannot allow this public health crisis to continue. Jetsy with the two months of the Twitch Prime. So Joe Hugill is at Manchester United doing absolutely nothing. But he is there. He's 21 years old. He's still vibing at Man U, not getting loans, not playing ever. Hasn't played a senior match in his career. And let's see, says, look up Frazier Hornby. Thank you for the two months on that Twitch Prime. And he's at St. Johnston. So Stad Darim with a $2.3 million purchase. He doesn't play, then gets a loan to Romania, one of their best teams, plays regularly. Comes rolling back, plays for Rem 2, and then Arem's senior team for 14 games, three uh, goals, one assist. And Stad Darim don't play him the next year. They send him down to Rem 2, where he plays a full season, and then a free signing for St. Johnston, where he looks like a regular player in the Scottish Premiership. Frazier Hornby. He couldn't quite, he couldn't quite cut it in Ligue 1, Ligue 2. But he was good nonetheless. Because he found his way home. And that's what I'm going to do. Except I have to find my way to class. Because that production meeting at the beginning of this gap, we're ending about 30 minutes earlier than usual. Uh, right, but there is one thing important to uh, save your saves. Do you, do you want to have your save saved, chat? You want to have your save saved? You probably do, right? Naberto, thank you for the prime in the three months, dude. Okay. Okay, I know, Bagpuss. I know. I know. Why are you in Liga Nas with OD? Because we got promoted, and then we got promoted again, and then we got promoted again, and then, you know, we ended up there. If you want to have your save saved... I all is about to make it available. This is just for YouTube. Five will be select. Not not five. Four will be selected for YouTube's next save your save video. If you are in the subscriber section of the Discord, which is like 1,900 of you, at last check, 
If you are in the subscriber section of the Discord as a hammer, get to that ping right now. It has just been posted and submit your save for saving. There are 1,863 hammers. All of you can have, like, can be in the YouTube video, save your saves. What's the major? It's a master's degree in broadcast and digital journalism. Very exciting. That's it. All right, chat. I will see you soon. We're going to raid off. Uh, we will raid. I feel like we raided Jack not too long ago. Um, did we, though? I, have we raided Jack in recently at all? Yeah, we have. It was not too long ago. I remember it. Okay, this name is hilarious. Uh, I gotta do this. I have to be in class in 14 minutes. I'm gonna have to wind sprint this. This dude. I've never raided this dude. He's got a good setup. Get your copy pasta ready. We raided Clates and worked the space very recently, or we would. You know I love both those guys. Uh, but we've raided both of them very recently, and I, I I try and mix it up. We try and get exposed to the world. We don't get caught in our uh um we don't we don't get caught in our run of the mill stuff. This is it, chat. That's our copy pasta. That's our copy pasta chat. All right, I have to win sprint this to class. I will see you tomorrow. Keep your eyes in the Discord for when I will see you tomorrow. I'm thinking late night streams on Thursday and Friday. So stay posted, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you then. YouTube video comes out on Saturday. If you haven't watched the Reddit video from today, uh, we talk about whether I'm going to do a YouTube save or not. So that is what clickbait looks like in real life.